Monster Hunter Stories 2 Wings of Ruin. We are here. This is Willie Mammoth Gaming. We are playing a brand new game. Just came out today. And we're excited to show you what it looks like. Look how great it looks. Look oh, at this. Look at all the monsters. It's a great looking game. I'm excited. I'm oh, yeah. not playing, unfortunately. <laughs> so this is George. I'm going to be playing. Um, let's go ahead and jump into opening cutscenes. So if you've watched our Let's Plays, it's going to be a little different. We're not going to talk during the cutscenes because it's like a first impression. Right. And we want you to get the full story experience. So let's start this guy. Yeah, oh, by the I way, know. I'm JD. Yeah, that's JD. We're She's Wooly my Mammoth wife. Gaming. We're Wooly Mammoth Gaming. My wife. <laughs> oh, I have to pick my character first. Okay, so there's no cutscene yet. Should I be female or male? I don't know. What do you feel like being? Let's be female because you know what? This is an equal, you know, opportunity workplace. We want to give more jobs to women. <laughs> <laughs> but she's got cool Gender flowers neutral. in her. Uh, we'll, we'll go with the big chin. Uh, big chin, like skin. pointy chin, or uh, can I make like crazy skin colors? Uh, I'll stick to normal human skin colors. Yeah. Okay. It looks okay. like they had some orange. What is that? Oh like, uh, oh my gosh, we have so many tan gone wrong. Orange. Whoa! Look at this one. Orange. Yeah, you could. Was it the Trump? Uh, Trump skin color. <laughs> <laughs> it's the new Trump orange. <laughs> yeah. It's like it became popular. The new tan. Oh. Okay, so let's go with this hairstyle, um, and then let's change the color. Uh, oh, we could do purple here. Oh, purple nice. is JD's favorite color. Yeah, so I like love that. it. I um, love and it. And the other color. Oh, I cool. want both colors to be purple. There we go. Ah, uh, nice, nice. I'm gonna do my hair like that now. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It looks yeah. pretty, pretty good. I'm do my hair. Uh, eyeballs. Well, like, let's give her like a shock. None of those haircuts have curly hair. They hardly ever put like curly. hair. I think it's harder to animate curly hair. Uh, I'm like fairly certain yeah, that's the main reason I you guess. see very little curly. These are like sultry eyes. Ooh, sexy. Ooh, we're gonna give you some sultry eyes. Super Change, sexy. Send me two different eye colors. Is that like a thing that's this one? This is the purple eye that you don't see, since her hair is blocking it. And then the other eye color will be blue. What? That's odd. Uh, wait. Did I change it to blue? No, um, it's still green. Oh, uh, how do I go back? There you go. <laughs> I, I'll, you know what you're doing. Okay, I'll make her the eye you do see as. Oh, you, know, you can do any color here. Does it work? Oh yeah. Whoa. Whoa, let's give her gray eyes. Whoa, okay. Uh, okay. That's cool. And then a mouth. So you do get a lot of customization in this game, it seems like. Oh, she's got like a vampire thing. Let's go with it. <laughs> Ooh, vampy. Oh, wait. Cool. What is this? This is makeup. Oh, you can give her some tats. Oh, cool. Some face tattoos. You know, all sane people have face tattoos, so. Nice. Let's get some of those. Let's see the voice. Well, she's got like this, I don't know, Polynesian look, right? Oh, how do I put it? I'll go Whoa. with the third one. I call all the voices are moaning. Um, <laughs> names and greens. That was maybe a moan. <laughs> sent through online or local communications. Okay, so don't use any bad names. All right, so we're not going to use any bad names, right? That doesn't sound like no, us. No, that's definitely not, not us. for this one. How about that? We'll call her Woolia. 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 We'll call her. Please subscribe. Speaking of which, if you guys are <laughs> digging this video, <laughs> then go ahead and please subscribe. Yeah. No, no but really, we're probably going to play through that. this entire game, so. If you guys want to see the entire Let's Play, you should hit that subscribe button because you'll see yeah. probably another video coming up in a couple of days. Yeah, and you'll know one. when the next video comes down and drops on your lap. Boom. Yeah, you'll be like, oh my gosh, Wooly Mammoth time. <gasps> Capcom presents. Woo, I'm getting goosebumps. Let's see. Ooh, Ooh I like these kites. Nice. Mm, so pretty. I haven't flown a kite in like oh man, many years, right? When yeah. was the last time you flown a kite? Uh, <laughs> it's been a while. Right? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Oh, what's going on here? Let's see. It's a ceremony. Okay. Oh.
Cool. So pretty. Right. Lantern Festival. What is this? This is a bad sign. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
All right. Monster All right. Hunter Stories 2. <laughs> Great start. Yeah, so there we got our opening cinematic. Um, Looks like a mystery. Yeah, right? So yeah, I saw the mystery. Water turning red is never a good sign. Um, lots of stuff happens at the beginning with no context, so... Yeah, there's a lot of questions, right? Like, uh, who's she? What was the name of that thing? That's the Guardian Ratha. Ratha. I think it's Ratha. Oh, somebody did the research. Uh, yeah, so I played <laughs> through the free trial. Uh, so this is the first day of getting the full game. Uh, but I played through the trial version. A dangerous Rathalos lives there. Rathalos. That? that was from the movie, right? Monster Hunter. Yeah. Yeah. Saying we should stand before a monster unarmed? This is a rider, Tyler. Brandishing weapons at Guardian Ratha is an unforgivable act. So we got some voice acting in this game. Mm -hmm. So some stuff is voice acted, some isn't. Um, throughout the game. This part is collective mind uh, idolizing a wild Rathalos. Give me a break. So uh, I'll give you a break, alright. Okay, that's enough. She's had it. Sorry, you guys. Off, both of you. Boys, quiet. <laughs> we invited hunters to our island's festival. Well, so that we could yeah, so here you got the riders and the hunters. So the hunters want to kill the monsters, and the riders uh, want to ride them and steal their eggs. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. Well, then, let's listen to the hunter's point of view, shall we? Why would you call Guardian Ratha dangerous? Because we were tipped off. Raise Wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin, lives on this island. The, uh, the wings of ruin? Uh oh. Yes. It's said that a beat of its wings can bring about waves of destruction. Wow. Hmm. Chief, do you know about the wings of ruin? Because I've never heard of them. Ah, yes, the wings of ruin. <laughs> Legend has it that a long time ago, a Rathalos born in this region brought terrible chaos and destruction to our world. Oh no! I'll do the voices but, for her. Okay. <laughs> she doesn't right? talk. No. She just do facial expressions. In any case, our top priority right now is to determine the cause of these strange happenings. Yes, of course. Why did the ocean change color? What was that light? And where did all the Rathalos go? So much we don't understand. Let's organize an expedition team and survey the area. You got it. So, right. Should I say something about our tooth? Or <laughs> are we going to just ignore that? Or? <laughs> <laughs> you put that there. <laughs> you want to join the expedition too? Yes, please. Oh, yes, please. I have a really <laughs> sharp pointy tooth. Right. And this kid only just became a real rider. You're worried about Guardian Ratha, aren't you? That makes sense. My hair is like morphing into my collar. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like going Your in and out. Your grandfather Red was a fine, upstanding rider. He led our tribe and protected the island alongside Guardian Ratha for many years. <sighs> I sure wish he was still around now. I bet. Oh, yeah, see, so your grandfather was like a big deal. Oh, okay, Red. he was a hot shot, right? <laughs> yeah, Red was the hot shot. Gotcha. Chief Gara, are you sure about this? It's a big job to dump on a rookie's shoulders. Not to worry, Kana. Rookie. We'll go together. Like especially a, especially a mute rookie that doesn't talk. <laughs> that's like the uh, what you're capable of. That's like the Nintendo rules. So, like if you ever play Mario or Zelda, Link never talks. Mario never talks. Right, yeah, I noticed that. No Interesting. Way. It sounds kind of cool, actually. If that's what you want, Chief, I'm all for it. Okay. Rider class is now in session. You'd better keep up, newbies. Okay, so since I played the trial, I'll probably skip a lot of the tutorial stuff. Change into your okay. Rider gear. okay, okay. So, you know, we don't need to do the whole tutorial. I'll explain gotcha. what I'm doing as I'm doing it. Ooh, got some Rider gear on. Yay. Oh, wow. This you is enough to uh, keep you from getting hurt by monsters. Yeah, those guys all have armor, and I'm wearing a bikini. <laughs> rider rule number one. Alright, so let's go to the stables. Uh, okay. 
objective markers. So we'll, we'll go through all this. Um, so this is our peaceful little wow. town. Nice big it's lake. Very Tahitian or something, right? Yeah, right? That's what I'm saying. It's like very Polynesian vacation. or something. Fight a giant monster. We got little cats here. Oh. Proper. Can All the cats cat? talk in cat puns, by the way. So he's a proper rider. Ew. Ooh, yeah, so if you get tired of cat puns, better stop talking to the cats. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of people like, enjoy you're that. You're a meow be like, this is cute. You got it. Yeah, that's the spirit. I mean, it's Rider nerves, Rider. man. Rider rule number one. Riders form bonds with monsters, and they in turn become our monsties. 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 You still don't have a monstie, right? Then the first step so, is to go out and hunt for an egg. If this seems a lot like Pokemon, it's because it is. <laughs> monsties versus Pokemon? I don't know. I felt very like Pokemon when I was playing it. Yeah. So if you get a Velociraptor. Wow. He's a bit wild, but once you get the hang of riding him, he won't lead you astray. Oh, uh, is he purring like a cat? I think so. Okay. You know, newbie, seeing you. Do Velociraptors purr? I have to rewatch Jurassic World. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, this Chris Pat pattered Velociraptor in it first. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he did get really cozy with them. Oh, uh, yeah, that's true. These are like an extension of our bodies, you know? They take us wherever we want to go. But they're not to be manipulated. This is like Jap they're Japanese they're Jurassic they're Park, this game. <laughs> slash movie, slash series of games. To care for them, and always remember to show your gratitude. Yeah, I guess I should also mention, okay. um, this is Monster Hunter Stories, Stories 2. You definitely don't have to have played the first one. Mm -hmm. um, I think from what I've played, it seems like you could just jump right in this uh, one. So don't be like, oh no, I gotta play the first one first, you guys. Don't worry about it. If you really like it, you can, you can jump back and play the first one. Sure. So the first one is for the 3DS, so you, you have to have a 3DS to play that one. I don't think it was released on any other system. <laughs> really? Interesting. So that's like a 3DS exclusive. I wonder if you think about rebooting that one or something. Maybe since this one came out, if this one's popular, they'll probably try to... I mean, there's a lot of reboots all the time. Right. Um, Definitely. Okay, so we gotta go... She's in the meter outside the village. So one thing you can do is your house is here. You can see on the little mini-map in the bottom corner. You can go to your house here, nice. and you can always save at your house. I think the game auto-saves also, but... So nice inside. It's good Ooh. to save. Woolia. It's Cozy. actually Walia, because I didn't put two O's. Yeah, oh, George, yoy. way to go. Oh, yeah, you I don't know how to spell. Uh, so you can talk to all these villagers now. Uh, they don't have too much interesting things to say yet. Um, it gets a little better after you do this tutorial because then you get like side quests and stuff from them. Cool, okay. When you play like these RPGs, do you try to talk to every single person in the town or are you just like Not forget really. It? I, you know, a couple people here and there if I go into a new place. Like who do you think does all the writing where it's like, oh, we need 50 villagers all to say something. And they're like, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Okay, you mean I have to write four game more of these? Oh, wow, yeah, that'd be a lot. It's a great script. Yeah, to write a script of, like, people who are completely unimportant to the story, but just have to exist there, so it looks like a village, and they have to say something. <laughs> sometimes they get it pretty... very immersive. Yeah, sometimes they get pretty clever with it. Like, we were playing Temtem, and they were a little punny with the dialogue. Uh -huh. and self They're cheeky. Okay, so we're going to go into the monster's den. Bum, bum, bum. So scary. Oh, go inside the cave. Okay, so we're gonna ride our monsty. This is actually oh, her monsty, yeah. but he loves us more than her. <laughs> cool. So yeah, that's the cool thing about this is you can ride every monster you get. You can ride. Nice. Okay, so we're gonna have to do a battle. So we're gonna fight. See, these guys are just peacefully minding their own business, just eating grass. Mm, yeah. So as the heroes of this game, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna murder them. Here we go. <laughs> oh my god! Really? I'm gonna take this giant sword and attack this but he grazing looks monster. Like a cow, like a dinosaur <laughs> cow. It's an Aptonoth. Aptonoth. Uh, Aptonoth. He's like a great trading partner because they suck at fighting, so you can just destroy them. Oh, um, okay, so you get one. So this is like a rock, paper, scissors situation where you have three different types of moves a power, technical, and speed. 
and the little arrows help you, like, speed beats power, power beats technical, and so on. Okay. Yeah. So when you and your opponent are targeting each other, you do a head-to-head -head battle. And that's where the rock, paper, scissors thing comes into play. Okay. Well, yeah, it says you've got a draw there. So that's where it helps to know the monster. Whoa. You got flung back there. Yeah, so you can also use a power attack, so it's a draw. So see the battle line? It shows you who the monster is going to target. So since he favors power attacks, I'll use speed, because speed beats power. And it's okay. that simple, guys. And then victory. Whoa. And then Velociraptor. If you get you and your monster both use its attacks with a type advantage, you'll perform a double attack. Okay, so... Okay. Oh, tag team that? Yeah, so Together. we both use speed, and you can see on the bottom cool. where it says Ranmar, Wulia. So you uh -huh. can see that Ranmar is using a speed attack. So since we are both going to use it here, we're going to get our double attack. Well, and wow. it does extra damage. <laughs> so for oh, me, like a, Oh, we destroyed him. him. He dead. Oh, Sorry, man. That is so sad. Look, his mouth is open. Like, he's really dead. <laughs> he's like, uh... And they're like, yay! We murdered you! We yeah. killed an innocent creature. <laughs> it was just minding its own business, eating grass. That's true, but we got some meat. We got raw meat, a tail, and quality meat. Oh, yes. nice. So you, you always get some carved items. it up like Boston Market style on his ass, huh? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> 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 you see, uh, you're like a butcher here tearing apart these monsters, and you get all kinds of body parts and meat from them. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Uh, okay, so this is... So she wants me to use an herb. Um, so you could go to the menu here, uh, and you got different options. So you can go to the item. I got tons of herbs uh, on myself, I guess. You can also pick up like this honey here. You can oh, pick is this that what up. that is? I was wondering oh, what I that was. Up a mushroom. There must have been mushroom on the ground too. So you can go like foraging. You grabbed uh, a whole tree and honeycomb. <laughs> yeah. But, <laughs> this velociraptor is like, oh my god, how much crap am I carrying? <laughs> He's like, you're not going to murder me donkey. like you did that other dinosaur, are you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the monster's in the way. we got to fight him off. Okay, no problem. No problem. So you go... So part of this game is going into these monster dens and stealing eggs, which we're going to do in a minute here. Oh, uh, okay. We actually don't have to fight off the monsters. So I guess she wants to. So you're a killer and a thief. Yeah. Gotcha. I, I'm stealing... Creatures, babies. I think that's cool, right? <laughs> I guess he wants me sure. to kill his velociraptor. Oh, you take bones too? Whoa. Yeah, yeah, bones you can turn into. Oh, that stuff you can turn into weapons later. Oh, um, okay. All the cool. body parts, like the bones, the teeth. Wow. Um, Everyone's going to get something called a sack, which I guess you can imagine what part of the body that belongs to. <laughs> <laughs> It'll be like sack. poison sack or fire sack. All right, lossy pray next. Um, so these guys favor speed attacks, so you definitely want to do technical attacks against them. Um, they're both targeting me, so let's see how this goes. Do they have, do they have like, charts about these creatures, like, sort of, like, Pokemon or Tam Tam oh, or sure. something? I'm sure they have. Uh, well, this game is pretty new, so maybe they don't have a guide yet. I'm sure there are a lot of, mm. like, IGN is working on creating one. Yeah. Um, time to heal up, select items, and use an herb on yourself. Uh, okay. Herb. So you have to just follow her instructions because this is like the tutorial part. Gotcha. So I just gotta do what she says. She's the boss. She's the boss. She's your like, Denzel to your right. Uh, what's his name? Ethan? Ethan. Oh, yeah, from Ethan Hawk. <laughs> right. From uh, Training Day. I was gonna right. say she's our Tony Danza, but I guess <laughs> I'm not sure which one's a newer reference. <laughs> <laughs> More recent would be, yeah, the Training Day Training movie. Day, not, uh, not uh, Who's the Boss. Yeah, that's much older. Be like, For sure. How many people are listening to this are Googling, what's Who's the Boss? <laughs> <laughs> who's Tony Danza? Tony Danza? That was like when he was a kid, or was he older than that? Um, Tony Danza? I've never seen Who's the Boss. Oh, the oh I used to watch it. Now I'm just dating myself here. <laughs> Who, was, he, was he the boss? He's the boss, yeah. He's the boss. Yeah. Was there ever an episode where, uh, so he's showing me the special skills that do extra damage. <clears throat> was there ever a boss, or an episode where Tony Danza 
went, or Bruce Springsteen's car breaks down in front of Tony Danza's house. And he comes in and he's like, hey, I'm the boss. And Tony Danza's is like, uh uh-uh, man, I'm the boss. And Bruce and then, Springsteen's like, no, I'm the boss. And then the lady that's there, because there was a woman, Judith Light or whatever, yeah. she was always competing with him. That's why they're like, who's the boss? You know? Oh, gotcha. So, there were... so she'll come in and be like, I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> so all three of them were like fighting back and forth. the boss? Of, uh, <laughs> that actually would have been the last episode, episode. Who's the boss? Was just a bunch of people arguing about who's the boss. <laughs> um, all right, so we gotta get to the monster then. Uh, so we gotta keep moving. Which I don't know why I went this way because I don't think this is. So you got a little mini map in the bottom that shows you where you need to go. Oh, that there. Uh, I don't know why I had me fight him because he was not really in my way. But I guess because you, you are a serial killer. <laughs> Well, what's your favorite classic sitcom plot? Is it uh, drawing the line in the middle of the room and you stay on this side of the line and I'll stay on this side of the line? <laughs> <laughs> or the, uh, the you, your, jo- your, your life is so easy. That person's like, your life is so easy. And then they switch and then they're like, oh. And then they learn that the, oh, I just went, did I go the wrong way? I just went the wrong way. Oh, my God. Shame on you. Was I not looking at the map? I could have sworn. <laughs> I was looking at the map. Oh, boy. Look at the map. I got to stop talking about sitcoms. Oh, <laughs> Classic gosh. sitcom tropes. I uh, mean, there were so many. Or the one where they have to move a couch up the stairs, and one guy's like, pivot, pivot, pivot. <laughs> that was a Friends episode. Yeah, Everyone that's likes the reference. Uh, well, so many sitcoms back then, especially like early 90s or whatever, were all family-based, right? It was always about yeah. a big family or something. You're talking about like home improvement. Home improvement or family matters or, or um, you know. I guess they had like Friends and Seinfeld. Those weren't exactly family-based. I mean, that's why no. people like Seinfeld so much. Yeah, like, we're tired stood of out family compared crap. to those other ones. We want to see terrible people doing terrible things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Going gosh. to these weird, crazy adventures. All right. They were all like a little off, right? They should Just do, a little? I mean, they probably did do a YouTube video where there's like a psychoanalyst breaking down Seinfeld and telling you what's wrong with all of them. You, <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like, it's sunny in Philadelphia or whatever. Yeah. It's kind of like Fran- um, kind of like Seinfeld. Like, yeah, a lot of people have compared it. They even did a throwback where I think Charlie was having a dream or one of them was having a dream and they were in an episode of Seinfeld. They were like in the apartment. Really? Yeah. Oh, that so, must have been something. So they are very much aware because that ref- or that observation has been made by a lot of people. They're like, "Oh, this is but, a raunchier version of Seinfeld." Yeah, this is a yeah. That, that show's much crazier than uh, everything from the dynamic Seinfeld. of three men and one woman is the star. Mm, right, right, like, right. You know, Danny DeVito's kind of like the uh, Kramer, Something's here. the crazy one. <laughs> right. Oh, something's up, man. Be very, very quiet. We're hunting Whoa. bird dinosaurs. That's <laughs> <laughs> a Yaku Yaku, I think I call it. Let's see. Kula Yaku, I think she said. Kula Yaku. Oh, it's an egg. It's moving on its own. Oh no, her, her egg's getting stolen. She wants it back. She kind of has a bill, like. Toucan Sam. It looks the... like a dodo bird. Oh yeah. You ever Does it remind seen you those? of Looney Tunes? I know I've seen that in Looney Tunes. The right. dodo bird. In that one episode. Oh the egg talks. Oh, it's got legs now. Yeah, so this one is much more cartoony than the other monster. Oh my oh. god. It has a tendency to egg really sticks to heads. It's gonna crack open on her skull. Yeah, it's got a heavy duty shell in the egg. <laughs> it's like, do you ever watch Garfield and Friends where they had that little guy in the yeah, egg? Yeah, was yeah, at yeah, the, the, um, the yeah. Orson's farm. If you guys haven't noticed, a lot of these Let's Plays are making old references. <laughs> <laughs> do you remember when you saw your first Alfred Hitchcock movie back in the 40s? By the way, JD and I are both 80 years old each. Get out. We got a little cute. You own cannon. that, not me. <laughs> Feline. Somehow different. Cuter. This is so anime. It is, with the cat. Yeah, man. Well, they really changed the design of these cats. Because if you've seen the other Monster Hunter, they look more badass than Yeah, this. yeah, that's true. They're very rough looking. This makes them more, like, cutesy looking. It is cute. Very he, Hello that, Kitty. That, he's going to end up in a Build-A-Bear oh, store. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because they did that with the recent Pokemon. A lot of the characters ended up in Build-A-Bear. Oh, yeah? Yeah. 
from the the. No way. This kid's still a rookie. Don't worry. It was a shield and sword. Or yeah, we played Pokemon Shield. Yeah. For a while, I was addicted to that game. JD was like, "What happened to my husband? I haven't seen him in hours." And he's like, "He's, he's sitting there on his Switch for he's like." He's hiding in his day. room. And like, I'm making day. curry for my Pokemon. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah. Such a pose. All right, Woolia, you're looking bad ass. All right, those dudes were fighting. Giant chicken dinosaur. Uh, <laughs> chicken dinosaur. It's, di it's a dangerous chicken stand back. Dodo. Thanks for the advice. Uh, so I believe he uses a lot of technical attacks. Uh, let's see. I don't fully remember. Yeah, he's pretty Yeah, pissed. he uses technical. So part of it is kind of learning your enemies in this game. Okay. Uh, and a lot of times, I think it gets crazier later on. Whoa. In the beginning, they start using a lot of the same attacks to kind of get you used to and feeling confident in this game. Okay, so you get patterns. Yeah. And then the other good thing to know is that... Um, if you do... See how in the top there's like a sword, an arrow, and a hammer? So there's three different types of weapons. There's oh, okay. a sword weapon, a bow and arrow weapon, and a hammer weapon. Uh, and I'll tell you what's strongest against um, that type of monsty, monster. Sweet. I don't know if there's a monster or monster. I think the only monster is when you got him. Let's take him out. So this is like a semi-boss battle. Not really. A little bit of a, our first sort tough of. battle. It's our first like, real last. battle where, where it's not a tutorial anymore. So yeah, as you do, as you get the advantage, your little blue meter, see that blue ball starts um. filling up. And then you can use up that charge to do like these charge slashes and stuff. Oh, uh, okay. That's what that is. Yeah. Gotcha. And with like the charge, oh, so he's got a rock. So yeah, you gotta take out the rock, because it's... He's holding a rock to block himself, and that didn't do any damage. It looked like it would've. So, she was just saying that you gotta switch your weapon, because swords don't do good against rocks. If you try to break a rock with a sword, it's no good. <laughs> you gotta break it with yeah, a hammer. Yeah, not try that one. So she's gonna show us how to switch to different weapons, and boom, we got a hammer. Wow. It's hammer time. Yeah, that's the other thing about this, is that all these weapons are complete exaggerations, right? <laughs> They're bigger <laughs> like than your massive bodies. massive hammers, smash the and rock. somehow you can lift them up. Yeah. <laughs> She's got massive upper body strength, even though it doesn't look <laughs> like it. Um, so yeah, it shows you right there the different types of weapons. You got the sword and shield, the two-handed sword, hammer, uh, I don't know what the other thing is, a bagpipe, a bow and arrow, and a <laughs> gun blade, so... Um, that's always good to know. And I think even your monsties do a certain type of attack, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, any of you other guys want to switch to a hammer? I gotta do all the work. <laughs> That's it, it's all on you, man. Okay, so she's just explaining what I just said. Yeah, she's not... For being, no. like, our trainer, who's supposed to be an expert in this stuff, not very good. Look at that, zero, 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 three. Uh, a lot of show. Yeah, right. Yeah, these battles have a little, this very Final Fantasy feel to me and how they get like super uh -huh. big attacks with like yeah, a lot very of show. Dramatic. Yeah, Final yeah. Fantasy VIII, I always remember, was the craziest one where you would like summon like Ifrit and he would uh -huh. be just like the whole world would explode and yeah. he would come out of the ground and shoot massive fireballs and all this stuff. Right. Yeah, and then it does like very... 50 damage or something. It's like, dude, you should be dead and everything around us should be done. <laughs> It was a lot of drama, yes. Yeah. It looked really great, though. How do you feel about these, like, turn-based combat games? Like, where you do, like, this Final Fantasy... Oh, I should switch to my sword, because that's going to be stronger against them. Uh, okay. I guess they're not going to let me do that, so I guess I'll just keep hanging with the hammer. They look flopping. Yeah, what do you think about the, this Final Fantasy Pokemon turn-based combat? I kind of... I have a love-hate relationship with it. <laughs> I think... It's a thin line there, George. I think in this case it's good because they made it more interesting. Uh huh. All right, all right. But I think with a lot of games, especially a lot of older, is it gonna let me switch? No, nope, I gotta keep using the hammer. Um, with a lot of older games, it has a tendency to uh, get repetitive. Right? Yeah, okay. I don't usually tend to uh, gravitate to those sort of games. 
I mean, I have played Final Fantasy a lot in the past, but... Well, I used to like it a lot because it was easier. Because I wasn't very good at video games, so it's like, okay, <laughs> so, this is at least easier. Or it didn't require so much. Um, okay, so this is going to show us how we can ride our Monsty. Uh, so when you're riding him, you get special attacks you can do. Oh, sweet. Um, so we're going to use our kinship oh, skill. See. This is where I say, where I'll show you where it gets very Final Fantasy-esque. Right here. <laughs> okay. So you have, I guess they, each monster has its own custom kinship attack. Wow. And you could do double attacks if both you and your partner do the kinship attack at the same time. Jeez, yeah. Right? It's like we've just, just destroyed... Throw a on him. Right, we've just destroyed this whole area. <laughs> there should be a crater. Wow. We defeated it. Kulu Yaku, that's his name, Kulu Yaku. Oh, there's a Ku at the end of it. Kulu. That would have been something if it didn't work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> all that? It's just a bunch of zeros on the screen again. Like, oh boy. We got some cool Yaku hide. So like I said, you just take apart the monster, and somehow we got iron ore from him, Why too. Why don't I show that part, huh? <laughs> this membering a creature. <laughs> yeah, most people wouldn't appreciate that, right? Yeah, we would, uh... You don't want to think about this game too much about what they're doing. Yeah, right, behind the scenes. Oh, I got that bashful little smile, like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is the start of something epic, I tell ya. From here on out, we're gonna be partners. Partners. And I'll do partners. it all totally free of charge. So, like, you have to stop doing the cat puns. <laughs> what? I'm pretty sure people will enjoy it. No donuts. 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 This, that's very anime right there. <laughs> this is totally great. Chibi face? <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, they probably will make those, what do they call those? Those pop? Oh, pop Funko Oh, the pop. Funkos. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's true. Do you, did you ever collect those? I had one that was like a special edition of Groot. Because oh, he glowed in the dark and it Groot. came from one of those. I used to get, um... Oh, gosh. The they nerd call box this? or whatever? The, yeah, the box, I would get boxes, yeah. yeah. God, I forgot which one was the one that I would get. Uh, you have right. to have a lot of space in your room because they give you a lot of collectibles. <laughs> and yeah. you're like, where am I going to put all this and it's stuff? it's like, you don't want to throw them out, so you're like, oh, Yeah, I because supposedly this. they were worth I guess something. I need a bunch of pins based on Undertale or something. <laughs> <laughs> or whatever they give you. Which they do have Funko of Undertale, if I'm not mistaken, too. Yeah, Undertale uh -huh. is a big game. We should play that one. Yeah. I know it's like old now and everyone's seen every Let's Play of it. Yeah, there's been um, plenty of them. True. But yeah. So the Funko Pop, if you go to a GameStop now, that's like all they sell. <laughs> yeah, digital... they're still hanging on there, right? I GameStop by selling Funkos and anime stuff or whatever. Yeah, they they're become trying more. Trying to hold out. Yeah, they become more of like a geek boutique. Uh, that rhymes. <laughs> They're kind of like a mini version of a con. <laughs> yeah, kind of. They're like sell t-shirts now mm, and yeah, like they do. collectibles. Because the problem is, I mean, if you're a gamer, you've seen this coming for a long time now. Is everything's going to digital, digital download? Yeah. You get the game right, and if not that, you're just gonna order it online Stream or whatever, and just have it delivered to your house. Yeah. It's true. like it's not the days where you'd go to a game store and look everything on the shelf. Unfortunately, those days are gone. Right, right, right. So we stole an egg from a nest. Oh, he's eating a donut. Oh, now I want a donut. Damn it. Oh, it looks good, too. What is that? Nuts on it? Yeah, it looks like some kind of crumbles and chocolate. Wow, he only has like four fingers. Oh, yeah, you're right. Does everyone only have four fingers? That's like a cartoon thing, isn't it? Yeah. Like when they animate, they always have... There's a reason for that, too. It has something to do with the animation. Like, it's weird to show five oh, yeah? fingers or something. Interesting. Oh, you can see her eye now. From the side? Yeah, yeah. you can see that one's, like, darker than the other. That's actually something that can happen. There's people who have two different colored eyes. Yeah. That's kind of cool, but not It me. is, right? I don't think there's anyone who has gray eyes like that. No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. What's what's going on here? He's not doing a strip tease, is he? <laughs> <laughs> I think this is like a ceremony um, to hatch the egg. Okay. okay. Wow. What's he doing? It's the ceremonial dance of our people. 
We perform it to bring luck to a ship's voyage, or to pray that a strong and healthy monster will hatch from an egg. Whoa! Awesome moves! <laughs> awesome. So this reminds me of this art style, the setting, and everything. It reminds me of the Wind Waker, which is probably not a game you play in a Zelda game. As it is out of the Wind no. Waker, but it looks a lot like this. The cell shaded graphics and the um, the tropical, you know, the island setting. Now hold up your kinship stone. Yeah. It will uh, link whoa. your heart with your monsty and help it hatch. Oh, we gotta link our heart with the egg we stole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's gonna love you. You I mean, stole me from my mommy. I guess we do that with dogs in real life, right? We just take puppies away from the mom and give them to someone else, so. Yeah. Well, I guess there's yeah, no less different than video games. Yeah, that is true. Maybe he's trying to make a point. <laughs> wow, so that dance actually worked. Yay! We got ourselves a Kuu Yaku. Oh, Ooh, he's got like all kinds of specials there. So those are always good. The plus one attack. That means he's got some good genes. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. Uh, you can see his attack, defense, his weak point, like a bunch of stats here. You could change his name. I guess we'll change our name of our cool Yaku to something Maybe else. Maybe easier to pronounce. <laughs> well, I guess it's easier to with, say. Right. That's a long name. Kuru Yaku. Aba Kulio. Kulio. <laughs> so funny. I was just thinking that. Been living all my life, living in a monster's paradise. <laughs> it does look like paradise there. <laughs> Looks real cool. Aww. Aww. He's like a baby. Well, they don't say babies for long, by the way. No, they grow it's like, Yeah, it's like immediately when we get out of here, I'll be able to ride it. It's like a full grown monster. Ah, oh, jeez. Oh, what is he I doing love to it when face? people touch my face <laughs> like that. Well, what, what is he doing? <laughs> Let me just... <laughs> wow. It's like when your grandparents pinch your cheeks or something. <laughs> it's like in, in 10 years, they're going to have a whole like, movement on this island, and they're going to be like, the chief kept touching my face without my consent. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to have to stay in trial, and he's oh not going to be in God. any more movies, and everyone's going to be like... Ah, uh, it's a shame. We never would have thought the chief would have been that way. <laughs> he was such a nice guy. Wow, now she's doing something to his face. Oh, wow. Now, Kana, there's no harm in it. Alright, fine. After seeing how much you've bonded, I can't exactly object. Just... So you think someone's gonna make a cosplay of that outfit she's wearing? Oh, for and sure. And wear it to the next con we go to? For sure. You and your monsties gotta work together to help each other grow. Got it? Cool dinosaur sounds. Nice yeah, song, buddy. that is cool. Oh, oh my god. Oh, yeah. Why are they abusing this poor cat? <laughs> right, man. This cat's Jeez. really... He's gonna hit the road. You shouldn't even bother sticking around. I feel like a real cat wouldn't stick around. You're like, I'm out of here, yeah. guys. Right. So, what should I have you do next? Ah, uh, what good timing. There's a new monster den on the... Ah, what good timing. I need someone to wash my car. Go take... <laughs> I'll give you the keys. Go take care of that. <laughs> Sure takes me back. What is that? She's just make out over there. <laughs> oh, Gwen is a rite of passage. Oh boy. I so I make make out points. Right. <laughs> That's like something you see in a lot of like horror movies or movies that take place in like the sixties. Like make out point. Right. Go over. Go over this is your chance like to the cliff side there. Make out. Right. On the, in their cars. So retro. You didn't have a make out point when you were a kid. I didn't no. <laughs> Not that I can think of. You to take this on alone. Oh, and you're gonna need Ronmar to get up there. That little beastie just loves to climb up high. I'll help too. Just say the word, buddy. You okay. got it. Before you go, it's time for another lesson. Oh no, no more lessons. Oh, being schooled. So essential for being a writer is combining. You can make lots of okay, so she's gonna teach us how to combine to make like potions and stuff. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a this beginning like a lot of RPG starts kind of slow with a lot of talking. Sure, sure. You're gonna go to like yeah. Sorry, I'm skipping a little bit this because this kind of goes on for a while. There's a lot of tutorial stuff at the beginning. I mean, it's good if you've never played the game, but I already played the. Uh, um, I already played the, uh, demo. the demo, the trial, but you could get the trial right now and you could play through all of, I'll let you know when I get to the end of the trial. So if you're like, oh, how far can I get in the trial? 
It's basically until you get off this island. It's pretty far in. Yeah, I played for like four or five hours of the trial, so... Um... Okay, so there's like a ton of things. Everything opened up now. Um... Okay, so here she's gonna tell us about the quest board. So here you can do a bunch of side quests. Quest board? So it's recognition a community the board? You can now request from the quest board. So once you accept the quest from the board, it'll appear in your subquest. Compare them, complete them for rewards and experience points. So that yada yada yada, so on okay. and so forth. We all know how quests work, right? You do them, people want to do stuff, they give you rewards when you do them. Uh, so you always want to accept every quest, because this is all like stuff you're going to do anyway. Okay. So it's like, oh, collect wheat and honey. You're going to collect that when you're out there. Mm. Collect meat, okay. kill or get this commodity thing, gather some stuff, hatch an egg. Wow, you're uh, accepting a lot of them here. Yeah, you should always just accept every quest. Because when you go back, and you'll see, it'll tell you everything you completed. And you don't even really have to pay attention to be like, oh, I need to do this, I need to do this. You'll just start end up doing a lot of this stuff while you're playing. Okay. Um, so where else do I need to go? Uh, so do I have my Monsty in... Oh, she wanted me to combine items. So I can make potions if I get blue mushrooms, but I don't have any blue mushrooms. Oh, I have one blue mushroom, so I can make one potion. Uh, blue lead Monsty. So here you can set who you want up front, Ranmar or Coolio. Uh, Kuru Yaku. Alright, so... The, you can go to the armory. I don't think we can really get anything yet. Um... Once you start playing the game more and get more stuff, this guy will build weapons for you. Oh, okay. Uh, so you could go to Forge, um, and oh. he'll create like a hammer for you, a hunting... Oh, that was a, was not a bagpipe, a hunting horn. Well, what type <laughs> of weapon optimized for team support? Besides regular attacks, it comes with a variety of skills for supporting allies. Uh, so yeah, you could get better swords, great sword, two-handed sword, bowman arrows. Nice. I don't think I have enough to build any of this stuff. So you have to pay both money and stuff. So you need... I actually could get some of this stuff. Do I want to do both? So you have both? to pay and give them supplies to... Yeah, you have to give them the supplies. Wow. I guess you're paying for the labor, but I don't have enough for that. Wow. Okay. I only have a thousand dollars. I already have a hammer. All I really need are arrows. Can I sell something to him? Maybe I can sell something for a hundred dollars. Nope. Alright, we'll come back later. We don't need a new weapon for this one anyway, because this we're good. the the first few missions are all easy, guys. It's cool. easy, okay. peasy. Okay. Confidence. So, so have you figured out who Mila Jovovich is yet? <laughs> oh my god, what do you guys think of the Monster Hunter movie? Put in the comments. We watched it what, a couple weeks ago. Oh uh, yeah. But I'm gonna put it cards on the table, guys. I have not played any Monster Hunter game until this one, and this one looked interesting to me. Um, well, we started playing one, didn't we? We started, and then you got upset by the camera, and you're like, this is too complicated. Because <laughs> I'm <clears throat> mostly a retro gamer, that's why. And you're like, 3D controls, <laughs> I can't handle this. It was, uh, but we did get the new one, Monster Hunter World, and JD's going to practice, and we're going to do a co-op of that at some point. Yeah, right? I really did like it. I just was having trouble with the so, mechanics of it. I just need to really stick with it. So in that one, you're just, you are straight up just murdering monsters oh, and yeah, that's scavenging it, yeah. their body parts for kill, kill, new kill, weapons. Kill. Yeah, for sure. Uh, monster den basics. Okay, so the monster dens are where you get eggs. Um, so you definitely want to check those out. Any of those gold ones are going to be rare eggs. So you definitely want to check out if you see any that are like lined in gold or whatever. Oh. Um, and they are, I believe, all of the monster dens are randomized. So that means oh. when you go in here, it's always going to be different. So if you're like, oh, give me the map of this monster den, you can't because that's always going to be randomized. Oh, interesting. Okay. So kind of like Dark Cloud, where all the dungeons were randomized, this is randomized too. Yeah, right, right. Dark Cloud. I like to play that. Jenny was a uh, big fan of PS2 RPGs. Uh, okay, combo recipes. Uh, is he telling us to make more potions? Oh yeah, he says something tough is in here, so make potions. That was basically what he said, which is good advice. So all these blue mushrooms are needed for potions. Is that like piggybacking on yeah. you? <laughs> I can make three. So three is good. And I have seven potions. The potion, really the herbs are enough because we don't even have enough HP for the potions to really matter. Should we use our Kulu Yaku? No, nah, we'll stick with, with <laughs> Ranmar. Three and one. Uh, 
So wait, what were we talking about before I got interrupted by the cat? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh. <laughs> fight a bug. I'm gonna fight the bug. It's just oh, a little guy. Oh man, it's ugly. Aww, he's just a oh, little no. cutie. What is that, like a mosquito or something? I think he uses technical oh. attacks, let's see. I can't fully remember. Yep. Double attack, boom. Whoa. It's like a meteor. Oh yeah, he's, I think, weak against arrows, which I do not have. Um, uh, boom, take that. Boom, take that. I forgot that. For some reason I thought that that girl goes with me the entire time. I forgot what her name is. Do you remember her name? Raina? Kenya or something? Was it? Kena. Kena? Kena. 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 I, for some reason I thought she goes with me here, but I guess not. She's just like, ah, oh, go ahead. On your own. In the, in the demo, I could have sworn she did this all with me. Or maybe not. Well, Anyways. maybe it's different in the demo. Maybe. Maybe they like to change it up. They're like, you played the demo, but you have you played the real thing? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm gonna turn around. We gotta go this way. This way. Into the cavern. Ooh. Well, it's big. some spelunking. Oh yeah, it's pretty huge in here. So on the map, it shows you where the treasure chests are too, which is super useful. So you can always make sure to grab on each Weja. And then the gray treasure chest or the brown treasure chests are just regular treasure, and then there's like different colors or more rare items. Like I think red ones are better. Mm. Happy, wow. happy. Uh, oh, there's another velociraptor. Oh no. Uh, so I think I need to go usually. Oh, oh he's no, coming. He's me. <laughs> so if you sneak up behind them, you actually get to do like a back attack, like a surprise attack. Oh yeah. Um, but you gotta be able to sleep up behind him. Alright, so let's do a technical attack. Because Velocity Prey, like the speed attacks. And then once you catch one, I think it shows you how much health they have in the top bar. So you know how close you are to killing them. Okay, okay these are all the tips. I'm giving you guys so many tips. Oh my gosh, I gotta talk about something else already. <laughs> well, this is our first look. This is the first look, the first five hours. Oh, by the way, oh, you can probably see from the length of this video, we're gonna try to play this for five hours. This is the longest let's play we've ever done. Yeah. So by the end, we may go insane. <laughs> you may read a news article tomorrow that is like two let's players based in Denver went insane playing a video game for five hours and talking nonstop. So, um, why is there an English accent? Uh, because. <laughs> <laughs> All the all the newscasters in Denver are British. Wow! Oh, they're yeah. like, here we are at and they're the broadcasting from BBC or something. Yeah. <laughs> here we are at the country and western show in Denver. <laughs> and what is it called? That's the one where they take the horses through downtown Denver. What is that called? Uh, the Western Conference thing. Western Conference is that it? Yeah. And they have like a, do it this year. Yeah, where they take uh, or we're kind of like new to Denver. Cattle. Yeah, they take cattle they take and cattle horses and through downtown. Yeah. Such a western thing to do. That's what I read about, because of course Such... we have not experienced that. That would be pretty awesome to see, though. JD wants to go to a tiny house exhibit this weekend <laughs> and check out some tiny houses. I mean, I've never JD, been to a festival JD and I are going to move into a tiny house, but we're going to have to get two. One for us and one for all my video games. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. They'll be like, you have to get rid of all these video games. They'll be like, that's it, we cannot move into a tiny house. That's it. They're like, you can't part with these GameCube That's games. That's a deal breaker. Deal breaker. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, it's like, um... I actually did a pretty good job getting rid of a lot and kind of moved to a lot of digital games. Mm, uh -huh. I may have moved to a lot of EverDrive flash cartridges. Oh, I need to do a potion. Look at me, I got five left. Oh, no. Oh, jeez, I need to pay attention. Pay attention, George. Yeah. It's not gonna go Boom. well if you die this early. Right? No, no. See, this does like 150 healing, but I only have 40 HP, so like, that's too much, man. Alright, Randmar needs much. something too, because he's, oh, well, he's gonna attack me. Uh, charge slash, he does speed attacks, right, so technical. Charge slash technical. Boom, victory! Oh, look at Whoa. that, look at that, look at that, look at that, boom! Right, that's wow. very Final <laughs> Fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, it's mad. Oh. Okay, so when they get all angry, they're gonna change up their pattern. So he's no longer gonna do speed attacks. Oh, um, okay. Oh, yeah. So change right it up. On. Oh, he's like red. Yeah, he's pissed. He's like rage. 
Yeah. Rage Against the Rider. Uh, what should I do? So he's probably gonna do a strong attack. Uh, should I just use? I'm just gonna use my kinship skill and take him down. Maybe that'll be enough to. Yeah, he did use a strong attack. Um, Were you ever good at rock paper scissors? <laughs> I don't know how you can be good at rock paper yeah, scissors. Yeah, did you? Well, you know they do have. Um, oh, you gotta do the tapping thing too. Oh, Every okay. once in a while, there's like button prompts things you have to do, which JD yeah. loves those too. <laughs> Every time she sees those, she panics. She's like, oh my god, what am I supposed to do now? <laughs> Whatever. Which, those do kind of cut you off guard sometimes, yeah. right? Where it's like, oh crap. It is. Because they'll be like in the middle of a cutscene and you're not paying attention, so all of a sudden like, yeah. press R, R alternately. Double attack, boom! Super damage! Uh. Oh, we're taking this guy out. Whoa. Oh, yeah, oh, Velocidrome. So that's what they're called. I keep forgetting what they're called. Velocidrome. Velocidrome. It's like that movie Video Drome. If instead of a demonic videotape, it was a demonic Velociraptor. <laughs> he looked pretty demonic. He was all red looking. Right? Yeah, he was not happy. Oh, here it is. A screamer sax. You, you get a part of them called a sack, and I wonder what part that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking. How are you taking this poor dead animal sack? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go pick up an egg. If it's a heavy egg that smells good, it's probably a rare monster inside. Okay, oh. so here's the thing. The cat can smell eggs, apparently. Um, okay. You don't want to dawdle too long because monsters will come back and get you, but you can check for eggs. Like, that's a normal egg, so I could put this one back and get a different one. She's like so, on top of one. So it doesn't really, if he says it doesn't really smell like much, and it's like two, those are... So weird. Not great. Oh, the gold one? Is it shiny like that? Oh, what is that? Mm, a yeah. Luma egg? <laughs> yeah, basically. So there's some super rare eggs you can get if you're lucky, but... Where you go? Bye-bye. <laughs> I'm still here. Well, you're leaving everybody behind. Yeah, bye. So that's the one you're going with. Let's head back to the village. And all you gotta do, you don't have to go backtrack all the way through the monster den. It just takes you to the front. Oh, uh, you which just is good. magically return? Yeah, that's, that's good. And you'll lose your egg. So if you die, like if you're carrying that egg and the creature gets you, and you either run from battle or die, then you'll lose the egg. So oh, you don't yeah. want to do that. You want to keep your eggs, the eggs you stole from these creatures. I don't know why I'm doing an accent like this. <laughs> I'm just getting uh, a little punchy now that we've been playing this game for, uh, I don't know what the bar says, maybe 45 minutes? Three minutes? Hour? An hour. Hour, wow. You guys are so lucky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, first look. Uh, first look. All right, well, I think JD and I are going to take a short break. Which you guys won't even notice because we'll clip it on the video and we'll be right back to do some more egg hunting and playing. We'll see you guys in a second in your time. Alright everyone, we are back. Uh, okay, so we're going to do we're some more. We're back for some more adventures. We're going to report to Chief Gara. Chief let's see if we did any Gara. quests. I don't think we completed any side quests yet. but Alright, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's check the board. There's probably more quests we can do the now. The community too. board. <laughs> uh, we need more meat. And we need to gather more stuff still. Uh, roly polies, rarities, no problem. Stones, got it. Jeez. Offer charms, got it. Boom, more. Pack it in. Yeah, right? Man, we're so busy. Gotta do all this stuff. You, get, I think you can complete one quest just by combining items. So it's like uh, really mm, simple, simple stuff. Uh, Chief Guard, he actually went to this side of the town now. He's like hanging out over here. This woman will give you a quest too. She got a little exclamation point on the map. Oh, I guess yeah. one above her head. Oh, I see. Uh, focus woman. I have this theory that the con there's a connection between us. The fish are not biting and the surge. Oh wait, I just did not read that right at all. Okay, she wants insects. Would you mind thinning out the Nahabra swarm in South Kamuna for me? Uh, sure. Bugger. Oh, so you just got to kill some bugs for her. Yeah, um, those bugs we fought. Is there an exterminator weird. too for mm -hmm. uh, bugs? Mm -hmm. uh, dusk shrooms. Their mushrooms only appear in the late evening and night. I don't feel safe going out. Could you look for dust shrooms? Dust no shrooms. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. I was thrilled. Right? He was like really thrilled there. He's like, oh my god, you're gonna give me mushrooms? I'm gonna get so high. <laughs> 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 
Don't tell the police you're getting me these mushrooms, okay? I was worried you might get lost or something. I'm super glad to see you all in one piece. Oh, she cares for us so much. Was it easy? You look completely unfazed. Guess there's no denying. She's been trained. Yeah, that's right. Red taught us well. Red was the name of the dad on that 70s show. Another dated reference, but <laughs> Oh wow. He always called everyone dumbass. I'm a better teacher than I thought. I don't think I remember that. Yeah, I, I don't really watch the show that often. He was also the bad guy in Robocop, which was really strange. When I saw Robocop, and I was like, wow, that's the dad from that 70s show. <laughs> Started somewhere. Okay, so they're happy we got the egg. Ready for the next one, wouldn't you say? Really? Isn't it a little too soon for the rookie to handle alone? Hmm. Why so okay. serious, guys? Now I go with her. Whatever it is, Why so handle? serious? Is it a joker? So joker. <laughs> <laughs> joker cat. Wars in the Pona grasslands. Turf wars? What's that? It's when monsters fight over territory. We've even found badly injured monsters in the grasslands. We can't just let them tear each other apart. It'll be bad news for the island's ecosystem if we do. Let's get moving. I'll meet Isn't that like the circle of life? <laughs> right? <laughs> I didn't know monsters can have turf wars. <laughs> Which I think that is true. I think... I could have sworn this was like an audiobook I was listening to, one of those great courses, where it was talking about Battle Buddies, Fighting Along You. Uh, if you lose all their hearts, then it's game over, man. So don't lose all your hearts. Oh. Um... Yeah, I was reading like one of those great courses where they were talking about primates. It was a certain type of primate, and they do have like turf wars. Um, <clears throat> Welcome. Welcome. Uh, so here you can buy like medicines and stuff. So if you want any of this stuff, but uh, I don't really have um, money Mahana for Duncan. it. Uh, oh, thank you. No problem. Thanks for not buying anything. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, um, thanks for just looking. But yeah, the whole turf war things with primates. I remember, like, it was on those great courses, and I was reading it, and it was saying that, that certain primates have turf wars. And apparently our dog will also chime in on this. Uh, yeah, he's, you may hear barking in the background every once in a while in these Let's Plays because our dog... Yeah, that's our every, He likes to tell us every time there's someone in the hallway, right? He's like, yes, he hey, does. hey, hey, guys, 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 there's someone in the hallway, there's someone in the hallway. There's guys. someone in the hallway and I can't do nothing about it. <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's let's switch our, 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 our guys, because we we should do a different, we'll do Coolio as our lead monster. Yay. Now. We can ride Coolio. Dodo yeah. bird. <laughs> Dodo. Dodo. Cool. Now I can see him in action. Yeah, let's fight with the Dodo bird. Check out where these turf wars have been happening. Everyone's crossing their arms. <laughs> but what are we gonna be checking out? <laughs> well, okay, tough. Obviously, we're going to find some monsters. Tough guys cross their arms. Right. Monsters leave traces behind wherever they go. Like can follow poop? Us wherever the monsters are now. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Let's go find some poop, guys. Stop. Stop. I'm the poop sniffing champion. No, oh. we have scuttleflies. They are poop sniffers for us. <laughs> for real? For real. And anyone can use these flashy things? Even my buddy over here? Of course. They're a vital part of any rider's toolkit. Here, take some. Okie dokie. Alright, so we're going to use these to help us track the monsties. So they'll kind of... It's, it's, it's really just... This is going to show us where to go. Okay. <laughs> like the little, like, navigation thing. Like in Zelda, you had Navi. There was like a little fairy that would show you where to go. Here you have these little flies to show you where to go. That's cool. Uh, so, mon flies. so the monsters leave behind tracks. Uh, scout flies can guide you to where they are. Um, so they'll stop guiding you inspired by a large monster. So you have to defeat monsters if they stop. So let's follow these guys and let's see where they take us. Oh, that's why what they were showing in the beginning of the right that she was using. Uh -huh. I forgot about that. Um, that she was she had these things that she was following to find the Ratha. I thought they were using that to follow her. Right. I guess maybe they were. I don't know. I got to rewatch that beginning to know what's going on. 
It's that a little confusing because like a lot of stuff is shown to you out of context. And now I kind of forgot what happened. <laughs> oh, there we go. There's a lot of stuff to pick up. Right? It's like taking me from place to place, picking stuff so up. So, like, you're riding a monster and the cat's riding you. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, man. It's like... Is you, would your cat ever, like, sit on your shoulders? No. No. That's not something cats do, right? I mean, I've seen them do that. I've seen videos of cats doing it. I've seen cats it's when they're pissed trainer. and they'll, like, claw onto your back. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this guy has picked up a monster's trail and I just have to follow the light. Oh. Yeah, have you ever seen the, the YouTube video where it's, like, cats are dangerous or whatever it's called, like, don't fuck with cats, don't mess <laughs> with cats? Uh, where it's like cats just acting viciously, like chasing dogs and people and stuff like that. Attacking people, yeah. Yeah. And I've seen one where it like grabbed this woman's back and wouldn't let go, and she couldn't get it off her because it was, you know, it's yeah, stuck to your back. Horrible. You need someone else to really grab it. Oh boy, the Velocity oh. Drone. I remembered at that time, Velocity Drone. Because I remember Video Drone. I used my memory, Mind Palace, to remember Velocity <laughs> Have you ever heard of the whole Mind Palace thing? No. Okay, so, so the mind palace is like in order to remember something, it's like instead of just remembering like, oh, like the first, you know, if someone gives you like a series of numbers to remember something, like, like oh, I need you to remember this passcode, 562537972. What you do is you come up like with a story and you make an image in your mind where you're like, oh, I see five. Eggs held by seven women who, you know, whatever, you try to create an image oh, okay. and it helps you remember like a series of numbers. There's like a mnemonic or something in a way? Yeah. There's like a supposedly like a guy who can memorize an entire deck of cards in like two minutes and tell you the exact order of the cards. Uh, and he uses that trick. He thinks of like the streets of London and seeing the cards as they pass a certain monument. Oh, wow. And using that, he can remember. Um, what cards came where. It's pretty crazy. I think that you may also have incredible. like uh, So he's probably gonna use a power attack so that's speed. So it's like um Whoa. using that he probably also has like a certain type of mind where he almost has a I you know what is that called? Eidetic memory or photo memory? Mm -hmm. He's probably has pretty close to that, but then he also trained himself to memorize a useless skill of memorizing all the cards. <laughs> <laughs> I would I would assume he uses it for other things too. Yeah, I guess so. If someone's like, yeah, hey, memorize cool, this though. password. I've heard having that photographic memory is like a curse. Some people say it's like you know you think it's cool, like oh you can memorize everything without forgetting it, but then some people it just it just like overwhelms them with all the stuff they're like memorizing. Oh wow. So uh, put stress okay, on the so brain. we gotta find another way up to the cliffs, huh? So we gotta go with this. Oh, another Velociraptor oh. we need to fight. I can skip some of these battles, too. Um, the game is not too grindy. At least from what I've read. Oh, and what I, I, okay. I, I looked at the IGN review. And they were saying it's not too grindy. So you can get... Um, you know, you, you level up pretty well to fight without having to need to actually go back and just go in areas and keep fighting to level up your characters. Cool. And the good thing is all your monsties at your party level up when you fight. So it's like it doesn't matter who's up front, everyone gets experience. Oh, so now he's doing the rock holding thing, so he's got the extra defense. Oh, so he should roll it like a bowling ball. Right? <laughs> Steve, right? When's the last time we went bowling? Oh my god, it's been so long. Jeez, the last time I went bowling was with you and your nephew, and that was terrible. Oh my god, it was so bad at bowling. <laughs> oh, I mean, I was so bad. Do you think the Wii gives you false confidence that you're good at bowling? <laughs> For sure. <laughs> do you think you play you the Wii and you're like, oh bowling. yeah, bowling, I'm good at bowling. Yeah. And then you go actually bowling and you're like, uh, crap. Yeah, and the ball's heavier than you. <laughs> and you're like, wow, imagine. it's way easier to roll a ball straight on the Wii than it is in real life. <laughs> right? You're uh, like... You're playing the, you go bowling and then you're thinking, man, I want to go home and just play with my Wii. Yeah, right. I want to feel some confidence again. again. Right. Uh, how do I, oh, I got to go up around this way. I got to go up this side. Ooh. Oh, look at these big guys. Yeah. These, these, these are really guys. big guys. Should... Their tails are weird. Yeah. They're kind of like brontosauruses, right? But some they made them, yeah, because like, they're little... like eating uh, herbivores or like eating the tree stuff, leaves. 
Yeah, that's true. This this does have a very Jurassic Park feel to me. I think I mentioned that before, but I guess <laughs> I'm going to keep mentioning it because it keeps coming to my mind. I can't <laughs> help it, guys. <laughs> Check it out, buddy. Over there. I'm starting to get used to the tooth. I'm starting to like it now. I'm starting to dig it. You're digging it. Ooh. Yeah, it's kind of cute. Ooh. Oh, he's eating the roly polies. Yum. That's the circle okay. of life for you. Oh, oh go no. on, Abaru. Look. That's, you know, cats it's notoriously so not sneaky animals, right? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, cats are the sneakiest, right? Stealthiest yeah, animals. pretty stealthy. Oh. Oh, boy. No, no. He's like, he's looking away like, oh my god. Don't hurt me. <laughs> Do you think if your cat could talk... Uh, actually, we don't have a cat, but JD used to have cats. If they could talk, what do you think they would say? I hate your guts. <laughs> I hate you. Just feed me and don't talk to me. <laughs> I was like, this is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put food here. Put water. Okay, I wanna make it leave very... me alone the yeah. rest of the day. I wanna make it very clear I'm in charge here, not you. <laughs> <laughs> right. And if I need something, I'll find you. It doesn't matter where you are. Even if you're in a bathroom, I'll find you. And okay. tell you I need something. So I think this guy is weak against the arrows, which I do not have, so we'll try using the hammer. We'll do MC hammer time. Alright. I believe he's weak against the arrows. Hit him in the coconut. Hit him in the coconut. <laughs> With a hacky sack. <laughs> uh, yeah, JD's oh, favorite stick. video ever is the Yoda lip syncing video. <laughs> I didn't say it was like the most... <laughs> Best video ever, or my favorite video. Just kidding, it's my favorite video. Run, 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 run. I can be your backpack while you run. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even think that's the words, but. Yeah, that is the words. Oh, that is the words. Yeah. There you go. I mean, they show the words on the screen. You should always that's know That's true. You now. should. It's like, like, a like five times. Right? It's like Disney sing along style. <laughs> you get uh, for, for everyone to know the words. Hey, you need to give them credit. Talking about them, but I didn't say what they were. Oh, bad lip sync. I think it's called Seag. Yo it's bad lip search reading. Yoda seagulls, right? Mm. Bad lip reading. Bad lip reading. Yeah. Bad lip reading. That's what it is. Whatever. They got. I, I'm pretty sure the words out on them. They've got like a billion subscribers. <laughs> billion. I wonder who has the most subscribers. Is it like Justin Bieber? Uh. That's probably yeah. like, actually. I noticed that the. Surprisingly enough, the most watched videos on YouTube are like kids' videos, like the the Mama Shark thing or whatever. Uh, Baby Shark is like one of the most shark. watched. Because like parents just put it on for their kids, and their kids just watch it on repeat. Yeah. So they get like 50 views from one kid in a day. <laughs> tap Whoa. A. I like the tapping A. It keeps me on my toes. I guess they do that to keep the battles from getting too boring. I've been playing a uh, Super Mario RPG, which is another old turn-based combat RPG, all that good stuff. <laughs> um, and they do the same thing. They have like certain button prompts to keep you on your toes, so uh, you like paying attention. Change up the pattern. Yeah, it's kind of smart. It's like, oh, okay. So you can't just like be like, because usually those battles have a tendency to sometimes get oh. dull, where you're just like, oh, I'm pushing the same button over and over oh, and over right, again. Right, right. Those Oh, it's enraged. It's gonna oh. use different attacks now. It wasn't pissed off before. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. he's red, yeah. So he was using technical, so I bet you he's gonna use speed now. So let's try using technical. This is my rock, paper, scissors. See, look, I'm good at predicting stuff. Wow, I'm okay. so smart. That's because you saw him digging his nails into the ground. Yeah, I was like, boom, well, you're gonna use... Now I'm gonna use the kinship skill and take him out. We're gonna use the explosion. The show? I guess, technic show? Right? I guess I shoot eggs at him. Oh, the cat sh shoots eggs at him. <laughs> oh. I, oh, I guess the egg is oh, a bomb. Oh, it blows up. Oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that actually did a lot of damage though. What's in um, that egg? Gunpowder? <laughs> there's a monster just made of, of nitroglycerin. <laughs> I was like, dang. That is crazy. We thought, that, we thought of making monsters out of nitro. Oh man, speaking of Nitro, did you know that Fast and Furious 9 came out last week? We need to see that. Last week? I thought it was a couple weeks ago. Wait, it was a couple weeks ago. I don't know. It's still but, making money. It's still in the movies. Black Widow's in the movies. But guys, it's movie time again. 
we have this whole pandemic thing behind us. Uh, mostly. For the most part. We got time for us to go see movies with our friends, eat some popcorn, pay $100 to go see a movie with popcorn with IMAX. Actually, the worst is when you get the IMAX thing, or the, the 3D used to be the worst because they would be like, oh, it's yeah, a 3D movie. Yeah, those were pricey. They were like 20 bucks or something. And then it's like IMAX 3D, so we're going to charge you $30 for this movie ticket. Uh, what am I doing again? It's, I guess speed. <laughs> Oh, he's almost dead. I guess I should give him a potion. Good thing she's handling that. Uh, seize damage. Oh. Yeah, he's not happy. Oh, oh my he's just god, he's just everyone. plowing through. Holy shit. Oh, she's gonna ride it. Uh, I guess I should use some potions on this here since she's gonna... Let's use a herb on myself, please, because I don't want to die. I don't want to die. How tragic would that be if that's the last thing this monster said before we killed it? I'm like, I don't want to die. Oh, jeez. So like morbid. The cat, the feline, is like, I can read what monsters are saying. He's saying, I don't want to die. Please stop hurting me. Jeez. <laughs> 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 Kinship skill finishing blow. Sweet. Oh, you got him. Oh, it's retreating. Oh, no. Okay. Yeah. Bye. Good. I guess he's still alive. Wow, but he took a lot of hammering. Literally. Right, he took lots of hammers. Uh, ooh, now I got a rock launcher. The other thing in this game is you don't control your monster, so... Uh, and then on the bottom, I guess the better you fight... See the results? I didn't mention that before, but see how you get, like, head-to-head, -head, artiste, monster crusher... You get more items, basically, the better you do. So I get more flame sacks. More sacks? Mmm, that's so many sacks. How are you going to juggle it all? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> like... Okay, so when the monster retreats, its den will show up in the field and you can get its eggs. How does it fit through that hole? That's a good question. <laughs> it shrinks? <laughs> I guess so. Well, this one, uh, he was pretty big. There's some... Yeah. Like one of those huge monsters. You're like, how do you fit through that hole? Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a chest here. Where's the chest? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Blend it in with the ground. Yeah. Okay, so we got paintballs. So paintballs are also super useful. If you see a monster you want to catch, you hit them with a paintball, and it forces them to retreat. And then you can follow them to their den and get their monster egg. Oh, okay. So the whole way you get new monsters, instead of like throwing pokeballs or whatever, you have to go get the eggs. So you have to basically um, rob the cradle here from stealing some babies. Isn't that like what snakes do? Is they like find the bird's nest and, and eat the eggs? Oh, uh, yeah, they or, do. Like, there's other animals that do yeah, that too. I think. Yeah, yeah, there's they, other animals. That's Lizards why birds are so protective of their eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Next, that left what are those more babies. Uh, more of us. So I'm not gonna. I'm gonna try not to fight as much, so we can kind of move along. I want to get past this island because I've already played this island. I want to see what's yeah, new. Yeah, let's there. see what's next. The new stuff, the, the... Keep it going! Keep it going. Um, I just got this song in my head. What is it, like Van Halen? Wasn't there a Van, Van Halen song about a cradle? Yeah, the one that's like... And the cradle will rock. Right? And the cradle, cradle will rock. Rock on. Rock okay, on. let's try not to wake. It's yeah, getting really sleep. Now. <laughs> yeah, so let's sing every Van Halen song we know since we're like doing I this. I mean, here. I don't know the words of every single one. You might as well jump! Go on a jump! Okay. Next Van Halen song. Oh, oh that's the only egg I get. It doesn't. Only one egg. He doesn't egg realize you're there. Yeah, he's, he's out cold. We kicked his butt. Oh, that's the same one. Mm hmm. Oh. And we just followed him back here and stole his baby. Oh. <laughs> So I think there's some evil. birds where it's the male that guards the nest, right? Then we see that with eagles, like a documentary on eagles. Mm -hmm. Not the band the Eagles, although that would also be an interesting doc. <laughs> <laughs> but we saw the... Uh... Oh, wait, we gotta talk to this other cat. Captain Cat. Oh, look at his gloves. Oh my god, this is weird that the dogs are barking right when a cat came on the TV. <laughs> 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 Safely taking you anywhere you want to go. That's the yeah. cat van guarantee. So these guys are basically fast travel. Uh, so you can use them to save and to go to 
uh, any of the previous places you've gone to, so you don't have to walk all the way back. Oh, wow. uh, so that's really good. It saves a lot of time. I sure hope it's a smooth ride. Cute. Okay, so, uh, uh -oh. so okay, so I'm gonna save as well because it's always good to save as much as possible. And yeah, this cat is really bothering our dog. He's like, okay, you guys don't see it, but he's sitting there just staring at the TV with like this face of like, mm, I don't trust this guy. <laughs> I don't trust him. Don't don't get on that catavan. But you can never so trust cute. a cat. Whoa. Okay. Words of advice: Whoa. never trust a cat. What was that about? Yeah. See, they just throw you off. What the hell? Okay, so we probably definitely completed some quests here. So let's see what we got. Uh, yeah, we can turn in this one. We've got some commodities. Oh, um, okay. So cool. There we go. Deliver. Sign, seal, deliver. And then you get money. So you definitely want to take on as many quests as you can because that's how you get money. Oh, you get money. Gotcha. That's what I want. Okay, so now we have enough for an actual bow, which is what I want. Um, complete. Okay. You can actually take on the quest again if you want to keep doing them. So even when you're done, it pops up again. Oh, um, you can never check them off the list? Yeah, is that going to bother you? Yeah. If you're like I one of those people, oh, I keep doing my button. I think I could get more just from combining stuff. Uh, is there another quest for just combining items? I believe so. Uh, combining. I gotta do, like, well, I still gotta do nine more. Okay, that was gonna take a oh while. My God. I don't have enough stuff to combine. Uh, alright, let's see, what do I need to do, who do I need to talk to, where do I need to go? Uh, let's talk to the chief first. <laughs> Lots of talking with the chief. He's gonna do some more face rubbing. Would you love it if the chief, chief had the voice from like Carmen Sandiego? He's like, listen up, adventurers! <laughs> that ruthless crook, Carmen Sandiego, has stolen another diamond. <laughs> Another old reference for you guys, by the way. We gotta make newer references. We got to, got to, got to make newer references. Gotta get into this newer pop culture. Yeah. Here, make a reference from two years ago. Uh, what was that two years ago? Uh, two years ago? 2018, pre-pandemic. What were we seeing? Who were we talking to? <laughs> ah, I can, I'm totally know, blanking on what the world once was. Finished. Please continue with the Tiger King. One of the Tiger King was last year. Nice going, newbie. Whoa, don't you get it? This is a really big deal. Taking down those barriers means you have permission to go see Guardian Ratha. Woo, we get to go see Guardian Ratha. Oh. Ratha Lewis. Need to start to see how great you are. I'll go get started. Meet me in the center of the village when you're ready to step So she looks nothing like Mila Jovovich, so I think no. we cast the wrong person for that role. <laughs> she doesn't look like a ranger. Okay. Okie dokie. Yeah, my, okay, my issue with the Monster Hunter movie actually wasn't that bad. Um, the special effects were good. The story was, uh, okay. I mean, it was it was okay. It was funny how they had that whole crew at the beginning, and then they all died. It was really just Mila Jovovich that survived. Yeah, right? man. That was kind of he did that in Resident Evil also. Right? He like killed everyone off towards the beginning. Well, she did have a group that was with her for a good few of the movies, like the first three or four of the movies or something. Yeah, right. But the first movie, yeah, I remember, first three, I thought it was so bananas, no, they had that whole crew, they went into that room, and they all got killed by lasers. And I was like, whoa. Yeah, I just, that's that. I guess the, the, the writer was like, we have too many characters, take out half these characters. Our current item is positively... Okay, so basically, this guy, this cat, will give you really rare items for bottle caps, and bottle caps you can find in certain areas. What am I looking at? What does he have there on his back? Like a backpack, I guess? With oh, a flag? Oh, hold on. It looks like a, a Furby. Yeah. I don't know what oh, I'm looking at. Oh, that thing? Yeah, that thing up there on a stick. Uh, it looks like he stuffed a Furby into a stick. I think it's a paw. Uh, no, the paw's down there. That's a paw. But what the hell is that up top with the ears? Maybe it's, it's a Furby. Maybe it's a Furby. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it looks like to me. He's like, I love you. I am Furby. I 
this way. I've made my eyes all creepily. Uh, so these yes, are the hunters. Did. So part of this story is these hunters are kind of uh, not very nice and they're trying to kill all these monsters so we don't like them. Right. Even though we're not that much better because we're also killing monsters and stealing their eggs. I, I guess we're not actually killing them. I think we're supposed to assume that we're just hurting them. Like in Pokemon style, they just uh, quote unquote faint. Um, but let me get my bow and arrow, which is what I want. That Those soldiers, they're like... They look like, they remind me of the TV show, the animated TV show from Netflix, uh, Dragon Prince. Oh yeah? Yeah, they do kind of look right? like them. Oh my god, that's such a good show. They're if you guys have like not them. seen the Dragon Prince on Netflix, if you're like, oh, it's a cartoon, I don't know how I want to watch a cartoon, guys, watch it. It is yeah. very you entertaining, like very anime, thrilling. Yeah. You can get some custom armor too. Oh, I have wow. more money for it. Uh, should I pick it based well, on the, the stats so or cool. which one? Oh, here's the tough thing. Do I pick it based on the stats or what looks cool? Oh, that looks kind of cool. I mean, I like whatever the, helps, right? I guess I like the bone one. That looks cool. I want to wear that. Bone armor. So I'm just totally doing this. You're like, oh, the bone armor is not good because of this, that, blah, blah, blah. I'm just picking it because it looks cool, by the way. <laughs> so Great. So don't put it in the comments like, oh my gosh, I can't believe you went with the bone armor. It seems... Uh, can I upgrade? You can also upgrade your weapons, but you need money, and I do not have money. Okay. No and you can do more damage. So that's why, again, you want to take out those side quests. Sometimes you can get some rare items and sell them and get some cash that way. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, 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 okay. If you do, I think you can do, um, on this board, is there more quests? I don't think I got to them yet, but you can do co-op quests eventually. Oh yeah, shake that suit. Um, and I can turn it in, I already have enough of what shake I need. Shake that suit. Soot? I guess it's soot, not suit. Oopsie. Soot, that's true. No. Boom, there we go, and I got some more money. Oh, I got a level up and some cash. Oh no, I can upgrade my weapon! Oh damn, that gave me a lot of money. <laughs> well, I'll take that. Uh, what a I'll gamble. I'll take it. Let me go upgrade my weapon. Oh, another, you can turn in a quest by putting a, a something What's in the that? pot. Prayer pot? Yeah, it gives you, so you get these charms. So you can offer a charm. Okay. Uh, and a charm that makes rare gathered items 10% easier to find for 45 minutes. Uh, like, we're going to play for a while and just toss a bunch of them in there. Look, the gold. <laughs> like uh -oh. My parents actually used to have an oven like that. They were popular one time for some reason, like... Uh, Looks Mexican. They used to, yeah, they, those, those, um, yeah, they never used it for anything, it was just decoration, but. Welcome. <laughs> uh, okay, so now let me upgrade, I'm gonna upgrade my arrow, because I like the bow and arrow. Let's make this thing stronger. Boom. You yeah, haven't even used it yet. Insect task, boom, boom. Uh, actually I can't, because I don't have enough materials. Can I upgrade my hammer? Oh, I can upgrade my hammer. Ooh. Wow, okay. Look at so that. much glitter. Uh, do not change. Or like pixie dust or something? Can I upgrade that... my sword? Yeah, pixie dust. Right? Yeah, it looks like you <laughs> threw magic on it. Uh, maybe I did. <laughs> yeah, I guess they didn't want to do the whole animation of showing him forge a weapon. Huh. But then I guess also it would have been kind of tedious because after a while those animations, you're like, oh, it's cool at first, and then it starts to get a little tedious, right? You're like, okay. Yeah, it makes sense. Once you're doing it a lot, you're like, okay, let's move this along. The south side of the island, huh? I was just getting ready to head there myself. Oh, Perfect. she's gonna come along? We've got a date with mm -hmm. an Everden. Wait, Everden. you mean the South Kamuna Everden? That place has kind of a notable history, you know. What, what kind of history? Oh, boy. Something bizarre happened there years ago. Right in the very depths of the den. Something bizarre? <laughs> there was a big fuss about a huge monster showing up there. So you're really building up the, 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 the building up the mystery here. What did they find? <gasps> in the low light, they could just make out a monster with pale white whiskers and shimmering blue eyes. White whiskers and blue eyes? <laughs> the hulking tanned creature was dancing around the den. A tanned monster? Did it dancing around the den? What kind of monster was this? <laughs> White whiskers, blue really? eyes, nice tan. Okay, take your time figuring it out. It's that the chief. Like chief Gaw. <laughs> yeah. Turns out that's what it was. 
Right? <laughs> Jimmy what faces a are so funny. Story. You've got to be kidding me. Kidding me. Should we just say that from now on in the rest of the episode? Me. Every time we say it, you got to be kidding me. Use all these cat words. That dance must have been pretty peculiar to fool everyone like that. Nobody had ever seen a human move like that before. He was more like a fanged beast. Whoops. Now I'm starting to sound disrespectful. Mm -hmm. Anyway, how about we get going? Yeah, let's rock. Oh, let's monsters. rock and roll, baby. Did I switch my armor yet? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess she just doesn't have it in the cutscene. She doesn't wear this crazy hat. She did hat. have it in a cutscene. She just wasn't wearing the crazy hat. Yeah, right? she did have the hat on. Oh, you gotta wear the hat. That's the full effect. Right? What is that, like a skull? It's probably too hard to animate her facial features with the hat on, I would guess. Yeah. Oh, wait, did I get her her dusk mushrooms? I did. I'm gonna go give that woman her mushrooms. <laughs> She's sitting around waiting. I think I actually completed another quest, too, by putting something in the pot. Yeah. Wow. Oh. Cool. Ooh, that money I'm getting and more items. Okay, let's, let's speed this along. I don't want to take too long, but I think I should get give her her mushrooms so she can get high as uh, high as shit. Actually, this guy <laughs> that wanted the mushrooms. Yeah. Oh, right. I guess I didn't get enough. Okay. Oh. All right. Well, enough of that. Let's just move on. Got to keep moving on. All right. Good job. Thank you. Uh, we did evening last time, so let's stick to afternoon. I don't know. We saw. I think the the, the day night thing just makes uh -huh. a difference on what items you can get. Oh, okay, mix I it up. I think. I am not hundred percent sure. Maybe it's just personal preference. I can catch one of these guys, right? You want me to try catch one of these guys? Not kill it. I'm gonna catch one. He's like minding his own business. So like you can get the back attack, attack when wow. you sneak up on him. That is terrible. <laughs> oh yeah, no, we're awful people. If you were at all wondering, you think they would turn around eventually? Oh wait, I screwed up. I gotta hit him with the paintball. Whoopsie. Oh no. They're gonna die. Okay, so we just killed him. I didn't oh, do what wow. I wanted to do. I forgot I had to hit him with the paintball. Oopsie doopsie. Oh, it is retreating. Oh, so we can go catch it. Maybe I didn't have to hit him with the paintball. Run, run, run for your life. <laughs> run from us. We're terrible. You're terrible. Oh, I got an S, so I got the most items. S for Shetty. <laughs> shetty behavior. <laughs> so judgy, oh my gosh. You think if they had the... Okay, so they showed the den on your map, so I think it's actually... It looks like it's on. It's back here somewhere. Do you think the that if they had the Tiger King in this mo this universe, he would keep all these monsters in like little cages? And, <laughs> and be like, Ah, oh, the Tiger King, come check out my Kuliaku. <laughs> Had some cool Yaku puppies. Take some. All these really bullies. I should I should take out some. That's one of the quests is taking out really bullies. Uh, but I don't feel like doing that. I feel like I just gave my dinosaur. I want my dinosaur. Go get your dinosaur. Well, you know what game we should play? Two is What's the that? Jurassic Park game where you build your own Jurassic Park. I've been wanting to play that. Oh, uh, like Zoo Tycoon kind of thing. Or yeah, something? it's like Zoo. T Planet Zoo or whatever, but it says like Jurassic World. Oh, cool. Uh, that's light. Let's see if we can get another one. No. You can pick up a good one. So I guess picky. Not. Oh, they're gone. Okay, let's get out of here. I wanted a good one. But yeah, you could build your own Jurassic Park. I had started it, but then I had one of those long tutorials. You ever a game where it's like going through the tutorial, you're like, oh, I got to learn how to do all this. Right. And they're like, you know, it's fun once you learn it. But going through that whole process, you're like, it's a oh, lot. man, yeah. do I have to? I'd rather just play something I already know how to play. <laughs> that's, that's me with that planet zoo. I was like, wow, there's so much to learn. Yeah, it's probably fun, but it's like, oh, I have to go through this long tutorial. It's mm, like, yeah. I just I just got off of work. I don't feel like learning anything more. <laughs> what are you trying to do? I was trying to fight that guy, but he didn't want to fight. You didn't want to fight. You just want to go and suck some blood somewhere. <laughs> I thought you, you were about to say to suck something else. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you really didn't like that bug. You are like, yeah, go suck some D. <laughs> oh, God. It's a mosquito, isn't it? Yeah. 
if a mosquito, if you got bit by a mosquito on your dick, is that kind of a mosquito is getting your dick sucked? <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. <laughs> you're just gonna have this huge bump, and when next oh time you go have sounds awful. sleep with somebody, you're gonna be thinking. You I, have I mean, I'm sure it's happened, but is there? It's like, oh my god. Well, of course. First of all, anything happening to that general area is gonna be bad news all around, right? It's like. Right. Nothing good can happen to that area unless it's like consensual and it's something you want. But any insect around that area is bad news. I would say. Um, but yeah, mosquito bite, just thinking about it, is making me. I'm gonna change the subject. You know what, guys? Uh, subject change starting right now. I, was, I don't yeah. have a monster that can swim yet, so we can't get oh. that treasure. You're gonna fight this guy? Back attack. I mean, he wasn't exactly giving you his back. But you know what? He said something about my mama that I didn't appreciate, so... The di these dinosaurs can talk. Yeah, he's he mimed it. He mimed with his claws, sucking a dick in <laughs> Alright, we'll stop. Okay. We'll stop with the dirty references. Did you ever watch that show? Or have you ever heard of the show on MTV called Joe Mama? No. Yeah, okay, so this show... This was around, like, I don't know, I think it must have been when I was either in high school or college. It was the guy from that 70s show, um, I forgot what his name is, the actor's name, the one that played Fez. Um, oh, right, right. What's uh, his name? Val something, no. Okay. Wilder or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Wilder or something. Okay, so he hosted it. It was basically, okay, so it was basically 30 minutes of this. Well, without commercials, it was like maybe 15 minutes of this. It was basically two groups of people all gathered around, and they were in two teams. And the whole point was making Yo Mama jokes to each other. So someone would make a Yo Mama joke and be like, Yo Mama, so fat. When she sits around the house, she sits around the house, or whatever. And they were always super lame Yo Mama jokes. And everyone would go like, oh, it was like a huge group of that people. That was a show? Yeah. Okay, this was I've never heard show. of it. <laughs> and then someone would reply with another Yo Mama joke. And then everyone would go like, What? And then another person would reply with another Just Yo Mama joke. make it bigger joke. than what it really is. <laughs> yeah, every overacting across the board. And how long did that last? Uh, it was on MTV, so I don't know, five seasons? Was... No, I'm just kidding. I have no idea. I mean, each episode could not have lasted more than 15 minutes. I mean, MTV had this other show... Which I've definitely watched at least a few episodes of. Don't judge me. Um, which is another terrible show called Next. Did you ever heard? Have you ever heard of that show? Next. Um, so what I it was? Recall. Okay, it was like a dating show, and there was like one woman or guy, and then three of the opposite gender, or same gender, three potential dates in another in a bus. Okay. Um, <clears throat> So she would go, I think these guys use power attacks, so you definitely want to use speed on them. Um, so I need to switch my monstie, because he's not going to do good here. Uh, where's my monsties? So speed, I definitely want to use Ranmar. Oh, I forgot to get my other monstie. Ah, jeez. I forgot to grab him from the stables. Oh, well. Um, Bufango. They shake a lot. Yeah. That's because they're so mad. That's like Clovis when he gets excited, he starts shaking his head. <laughs> he, has, he can't contain his incitement, excitement and stand still. He has to move his entire body right, in yeah. some way. Um, so yeah, next was a show where it was like, yeah, three people on a bus, uh, all for potential dates. The first one comes out and they do a date and at any point the person can say next and that person has to leave and someone else on the bus has to come and replace them on the date. Okay. So you're essentially watching someone's date, um, and they were of course very goofy or whatever, and acting silly. Okay. Um, and then, if they don't say next, or whatever, I forget, I think they could say like, oh, I want to keep you, or whatever they say. Oh, okay. Um, if they do that, then uh, they get, if they both agree that they like each other and want to stay on the dates, then they get like $50 or something, something stupid like that. They get money for that? But it's so stupid because it's like must feel terrible to be nexted, and it's like why why do that why? Uh, for the money? Hopefully. I guess it doesn't really care. I mean, they say it those relationships. Be on TV? 
They say those relationships are like meaningless. It's like all a show. Like on The Bachelor or whatever, they always just oh, break just up. It's a one night stand. <laughs> yeah, they're like they don't really stick together. Or sometimes it's all just a show, and afterwards they're like, oh, it's done. There's no, there's no relationship. Just to be here. on TV. Yeah, it's just to be on TV and put on a show for people. Which I can't believe The Bachelor is still kicking. You know, people still uh, like that yeah. show. That's still going. Right. I used to be so annoyed when my coworkers wanted to talk about it. I'm like, I don't watch that show, so I don't really want to oh, I got talk a about it. I guess I didn't have to buy one. I just got one. No, Oopsie. anyways, be talking about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it was a good yeah, episode yeah, yeah, last good night. Episode. And I'm yeah. like, I really don't care. I don't care. No one watches this. Actually, a lot of people like that show. No, yeah, but watch I it. don't know. I think, here's my take. It's like... There's so much content out there, and there's so much, I need to look at the back. Where are we? Oh, <laughs> Where are you go. going? Okay, just keep going straight this way. There's so much content out there, and there's so many good scripted shows, and there's so many shows that are so entertaining. Why watch, like, like I guess I, I got that back in the days when there was, like, two things on television. But it's like, now there's so much. It's like, now my problem is not, like, finding oh something to watch. It's deciding, like, which of these great shows I want to watch, right? It's, it's yeah. like, oh my God, there's these amazing Netflix show. They just released another season of Castlevania. They just released another season of I Think You Should Leave. Oh, we just got Hulu. I need to catch up on Bob's Burgers. What yeah, am I going to watch? just so much. It's overwhelming sometimes. I know. And that's why we're happy that you guys are watching us. We know you guys have a lot of choices out there. We're happy you're flying Woolly Mammoth Gaming. Um, sit back, enjoy the rides, keep your tray tables in whatever position you want. If you're watching this on a plane. <laughs> Plenty um, of leg room, huh? Yeah, yeah. If you're watching us on a plane, we're saying hi to you in the sky. Uh, let's see. Okay, so this guy uses we'll just, power uh, text Don't too. forget to like and subscribe, right? Yeah, and comment. Be like, comment with whatever you want. Just like, you know, it doesn't have to even be about the video. You can just comment to be like, hey guys, I pooped today. Like the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> you really want to know that? <laughs> How about we'll you say hi? I, if you write, I pooped it in the comments, I will personally write congratulations. Because, <laughs> you know, I mean, that's an achievement. It's like you accomplished something. Dang, we're Critical. kicking this guy's butt. It's really not fair. It's four versus one. Yeah. The that other interesting it. thing about this game is that you... Um... So he's weak against sword attacks, so I should stick with the sword. Um, the other interesting thing about this game is that you don't control your monster. You just have to kind of know your monster's attacks, like what they typically do, and enemy attacks, and hope for the best. But you can't say, like, oh, do this attack or do this attack. They're just on their own. Oh, uh, okay. Which is kind of interesting, I think. This also makes it easier because there's less choices to make. Yeah, this is a different kind of playing, gaming dynamics. I've been playing Baldur's Gate 3, and it's like, oh my god, I have to control the, the battle, or the combat takes forever, because you have to control these people. And I was getting a little frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> that game is hard. I'm going to figure it out eventually, but that game is hard. Pretty much the same, it's the same thing, right? Yeah, those those kinship attacks don't change, so you, you get bored of seeing. There's a way you can skip him, I think. If you get tired of seeing him, which I may do at some point once I learn how to do that. Uh, my whispers have gone to Tingle Town or something, just Tingle waiting to pounce. Tash. And like, no one believes him. It's like, clearly something's gonna happen because this is a game and he wouldn't just say that for no reason. Right? Yeah, what's gonna happen then? Double attack! Mm. Wow. We are taking out this warthog, right? Pumba, poor Pumba. Poor Pumba. He's the funny, nice one. Pumba. Yeah. Oh, uh -oh. what's going on? Warning! Warning! Ooh. Oh, T-Rex. Oh my God! What the? Where did this guy come? From? Son of a gun lance. It's an Angedath. Oh Angedath. my God! This is awesome. He Look does look pretty it. awesome. He looks pretty intense. Oh uh, my god, why isn't he eating the warthog looking thing? Yeah. You would think he'll eat him up and then come attack you oh guys. Boy. This does not look promising. Whoa, oh. Uh, I don't think we're ready to take Damn. on the monster in the strong yet. We gotta get out of here. Flash bomb. Get the hell out. Yeah, we're gonna make a run for it. Wow. 
We got away. Don't right. worry. We should be safe now. You sure? Get a bitter box. What was that thing? I was expecting a dancer, not some kind of raging nightmare. Look, just calm down. I'll explain. That was an Anjanath. It's a fierce monster for sure, but it usually keeps its distance from humans. I have a feeling this is all connected somehow. Something's going on. Everyone. Yeah, so we're just getting the beginnings of a story here. Oh, the so we see the water turning red in the sea. We see Anjaneth's attacking, which is unusual. All the Ratha, Rathalos evacuated the island. Seeing this too? A See what? Yay. Looks like that shady was telling the truth after all. All right, let's get the bottle caps and get out of here. And let's get out of here. That's what he said too. Oh man, gray minds think alike. We're all like almost dead. Okay, let's get these bottle caps. Bottle caps. Okay, so let's take a quick egg too. Okay, I guess we'll take more eggs. We'll hatch them all when we get back too, because I forgot to do that. <laughs> I forgot to hatch my eggs. Because yeah. you should always have all your monsters, as many monsters as you can, because they all get experience. Okay. Okay, so we're stuck with this egg. So whatever's in here, we're going to get. <laughs> um, that's that. That's that. And we're going to get out of here. Run, 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 run. Leave. I don't know if you can ride the monster holding the egg. I don't think you can. I think no? you just got to run. Oh, okay. I was wondering why you don't get on. Yeah. yeah, I don't think you can. I could try, but I don't think you can. Gotcha. Uh, okie dokie. I guess I should fight some of these bug things just to get the other subquests. And eh, well, we could skip it. I have so much money. I don't need to fight them. Uh, I'm gonna break I can fight some of these promise? rolling polies. Uh, but I want to do a different monster. Well, actually, we're all like dead, so we should just go back. <laughs> uh, let's just get out of here. Cause yeah, no one's looking good. You need to go to the hospital. Actually, I think I could fast travel back. I don't know why I didn't do that. I could have saved us some time. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna continue this story uh, in just a moment here. Which will just be half a second in your time. Let me save. And we'll keep on going. I'm not talking to you. Like, I guess I gotta go to my bed to save. Back, Walia. We are playing Monster Hunter Stories 2. Uh, okay, so let's see what we need to do next. Uh, All report right, what's next, to man? The, okay, so we got bottle Side caps. Adventure. For, for some reason, these cats love bottle caps, so we gotta go give him a bottle cap. He does a bottle cap collection? I guess so. They're like super, they're like gold to him. Oh, they're authentic bottle caps. I'm cap. still trying to figure out what that thing is. It looks like a Furby. Um, with bottle caps on its <laughs> face. <laughs> uh, cause that's where you can buy stuff with bottle caps. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's, let's do this. Uh, okay, I guess I gotta talk to him again to buy a bottle. What is that, a scarf? Uh, or is he like, uh, He's like a bandito. Up? Oh, well, he, yeah, he's masking up. There you go. Uh, <laughs> so you can Whoa, get a gun that like a gun blade or something? Yeah, that's wow, pretty cool. That's awesome. Cool. Uh, so I definitely do not have bottle caps for any of this cool stuff. Oh. I could get some items. Um, so some of the recipes are definitely useful to have. Um, so, because then you can make stuff out in the field, and you can do some cool stuff, but I don't know... Uh, expands your stables. I don't think I need any of this stuff right now. Do you even Almost, know what all that stuff is? Uh, I don't feel like reading it's it right a lot. now. Yeah, it's a lot there. The, the weapons are definitely gonna be useful. Um, speaking of which, I should go check my quests. I probably completed some of them, maybe? Let's see. Let's see. Let's check see. your community board. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, look, I can turn into Donuts! Items. Donuts! One, two, three, one, two, three, give boom, it to done. Give some to Nabaru, wasn't he asking for that earlier? Yeah, he loves donuts. Oh, donuts. The, 
most healthy thing for a cat to eat is a donut. <laughs> I've never heard of a cat eating donuts. Oh, man. And we get, you guys get some sound effects of a squeaky toy courtesy of Clovis, right? <laughs> he seems to be uh, ready to play. And we're like, dude, we're playing a video game. And he's like, I don't want to play a video game. So I, I want to play I don't tug care of about war. That. Uh, okay, so we got that. So we did some more quests. Um, we can keep getting more meat, more quests, and we turn them in. Uh, let's see what else we can go do. Uh, oh, the, the hatching eggs. That's right. I said I was uh, going to do yeah. this. Yeah, yeah. We need more monsties. Go get uh, some so more talk monsties. To this guy. Looks, these looks cats like a farmer. All these positions. Whoa, look um, at his pants. Oh, yeah. They're super baggy. Yeah, super baggy. Whoa, so, we got four here. I know. So I got... Okay, so I got four. Let's hatch all of them and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we get to name them all, too. Crack them eggs. Oh, he's got stronger it. attack and stronger, what say, no. speed or defense? Um, I lost the drone. Yeah. So th that grid up there means something, and I think it tells you what skills they can learn at certain levels. Um, oh, okay. Some of so, them look locked. Yeah, I think some of them are still locked, so they have to get to... I think it's still indetermined on some of the skills. Okay, so let's name him... Since he's a Velociraptor, let's call him Polly. What do you think? Polly. <laughs> After my favorite comedian, Polly Shore. Uh, that's not these... how you spell it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, oh, we got one of these cool. little guys. Oh, I like this guy. Um, I think I'm gonna yeah, name Kutu. him. I don't think they have genders. I haven't seen anything that indicates a gender. Sorry, Yian Kutku. I think I'll name him after our dog Clovis, right? Clovis. <laughs> okay. There we sure. go. Sure. It does look kind of like him. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. See what else we got What's here. It's going to come out. So the eggs, the different patterns and colors do mean something, but I forgot oh, what they mean. Look at these. Oh, that's the Aptonoth. Aww. Uh, we'll call him Apti. Thanks, Apt. Oops, call him, I guess Apto. We call him Bait because <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to be super useful. He's very peaceful. So yeah, the designs on the eggs tell you what type of monster you're getting, and the colors tell you something too, but I forget okay. what that means. You'd have to look at a guide. You'd have to know, yeah, because... Ooh, a bull drone. <laughs> uh, let's call him Pumba, right? Pumba. <laughs> what the hell? Wow. A lot of O's there. Pumba. Pumba. Okay, so are they all in my party? The cat's looking at you like, wow, great uh, name, Colin. <laughs> uh, okay, so Clovis, you can go in my party. Oh, here it shows you more of the stats. So I guess he learns, a, he's got a fireball gene and a tackle gene. And I guess these are locks. You don't know what they are. Um, I have to fully understand that chart. They didn't fully explain it in the game, so they probably will at some point. Uh, maybe there'll be a wiki online or so. Yeah, uh, probably. Uh, okay. Wow. So cute. So catty. Makes me feel like adopting a cat. Aww. Alright, so let's continue on our monster adventure. Your riders are back! Hmm, is the North Kamuna investigation over already? Ugh. Ugh. They don't look so hot. Are they gonna throw up or something? She's like, they don't look so hot. Not like me. How do you like my bikini? <laughs> They're a little hot <laughs> shorts. I prefer to fight monsters in as few clothes as possible. <laughs> so it won't get in my way. Right? Like Xena, warrior princess style. You gotta wear the the uh, the metal bikini. You sure you're okay? Or Princess Leia in Return of the Jedi. Right. We got on the wrong end of the monster's venom. Oh my god, go to the hospital. <laughs> oh my god, why are they wasting time talking? <laughs> yeah. Hopefully that's not uh, deadly. Anjanat, that's, uh, uh, you'd better go tell Chief Gara. The village's safety comes first. If this monster in the forest is a threat, we'll go deal with it. Be careful. It won't go down easy. I know, but it could give us a clue about what's been going on lately. With Red and Guardian Ratha gone, 
We have to learn to protect ourselves now. What do you think of her voice acting? We better make sure we're prepared against typical anime voice. Yeah, it sounds a little like to the merchant and stocking up on antidote herbs. We can do this. This voice actress we probably done so many this. other ones. Oh, she probably had to read like a million lines, so she was just like, all right. But it does sound a bit like like reading a story to a little kid, kind of. <laughs> like, if you yeah, know I think I mean. so. Okay, so where am I going? This way. Uh, this way. This way. Oh, I guess just to stock up on antidotes. I guess I should buy some from this lady. Where's the lady? Don't be shy. <clears throat> uh, antidote herb. I guess I'll buy like seven of them. Eight. I guess that should be plenty. Can I upgrade my weapons yet or no? Let's see, did I already do this? No, I didn't do this yet. Did I get any new items? Did you get your bow? Yeah, yeah. Upgrade my bow. Ooh, I actually have two of them. I guess I should sell one of them, right? Why? How did you end up with two? There was one in a box. Oh, I don't even remember you picking it up. Uh, yeah. I guess I, I shouldn't have bought one because I didn't realize I was going to get one. <laughs> uh, that's a bad walkthrough if you're watching it. Don't buy the arrows because you just get one in a box later. Oh, I need more hides. I need Kulu Yaku hides in order to upgrade that one. Uh, it looks like I can upgrade this. Uh, cool. I just sight? I got a stronger hammer sight. now. Whoa. Maybe clobbering. Uh, and then what about the sword? Oh, I don't have enough money to upgrade the sword. Yeah, I'll be really clobbering there. <laughs> cool. Smashy smashy! Poisonous Peril, Investigate North Kamuna Forest. Alright. Hey, let's go. I um, guess you'll talk to Chief later. Yeah. Whatever. What Whatevs. Okay, so now it's Dusk. Should I do a different monster? Let's see, let's change it up. Let's go with Pumba. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> oh, he actually does not run as fast as I thought he would. Nope, not really. He kind of, uh... You know, he's got four legs. Yeah, should I try catching one of these big guys? I'm gonna try catching one of the big guys. Alright, Pumba. Pumba's only at level one though, so I probably shouldn't fight with him. Who's stronger? Alright, Coolio. You gonna try to catch one of these big guys, what do you think? But they're not doing anything wrong. Oh, Back attack. It looks so much smaller here. Right? Uh, yeah, they do look like brontosauruses. Right? Um, where Ooh, is my items? Got red nails. So if you want to make sure that you'll go, they'll take you to their den, you gotta hit them with the paintball. Oh, ineffective. ineffective. Oh, maybe I can't do that. Oh my god. Wow, I'll kill them in like one hit. Oh, he's uh, dead. I, I actually just feel bad now. <laughs> yeah, that was terrible. Oh, I leveled up my guys. So I guess you are kind of grinding. I got some meat and some hides. Larry North hide. Maybe you can't catch those because it said ineffective. Usually when it says that on the paintballs, that means it's not like a... Oh, it's not... Not attainable. something you can catch. I gotcha. Because it'll say that if you try to throw it at the mosquitoes. No, mosquitoes. Uh, I guess I gotta go down there actually. I'm in the wrong place. Go down this way. <laughs> Follow the map. There's some roly. Oh, there's something in the water. What's that? There uh, must be something in the water. A sleepy fish? You can fight these roly polar things. Is, oh. I was gonna say, is that a crab? Yeah, they're like these. What are the horseshoe crab things? Oh. I guess they're like, like horseshoe crabs. I think they use technical attacks. Let's try. Country. Yeah, they use technical attacks. Dude. Oh boy. <laughs> They're pretty easy to kill. Too. Wow. Uh, Alright, take out this last one. I guess swords are not very effective against them. I think they're actually weak against the hammer. Oh. Because they're crabs, Next so you time. just smashy, smashy their shell. Smash their shell in. Gross. Oh, just helping level up my other guys. Shell and set house. Gotcha. Okay. So enough enough getting sidetracked. You could get sidetracked very easily in this game. Uh, there's a treasure chest here. Treasure. So I think the blue treasures have better stuff than the brown treasure boxes. Oh, so they're all different colors. Yeah, so that one has an amulet. So I can actually go to my equipment. Uh, okay. 
It doesn't even tell you you could do this, but you could equip the am amulet and it increases maximum HP somewhat. <laughs> Uh, somewhat, sort of. Somewhat. Maybe I'll get it. Uh, get some of this iron ore. There's a lot of stuff you can pick up while you're just walking around. Uh, okay. More roly polies. I guess I can avoid them. I feel like I find enough of those. Uh, more of these warthog guys. Time out! Do you like my Pumbaa impersonation? Was that good or really good? You can be honest with me. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> no, I said be honest. You don't have to spare my feelings. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible. Uh, you mean they're not going to cast me in the Lion King, the live action Lion King? Not even I applied for to be Pumbaa and I haven't heard back. <laughs> <laughs> you said you saw the live action Lion King, right? A Disney World, you mean? The, the movie, the live action. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I guess it's weird to call it live action because it's really CGI. Right? It's not really a yeah, live action Lion it's King. it's not entirely live action. The background might be. Yeah, but it's really a CGI Lion King. Yeah. It's using the uh, rocket technology that they, rocket technology for Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, it's not, you know, it's just people doing voices. All right, we're going to do a new segment since we got you know, some downtime here, which is JD's movie review. Are you guys ready? Bah, 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 JD's movie review. What did you think of The Lion King? Live action. Good. Bad. Really bad. Really good. <laughs> I love it. I hate it. I thought it was good. I know a lot of people were kind of like saying crap about how the faces weren't matching. Like, they weren't showing expressions or anything, and I'm thinking, well, that's stupid to complain about because it's an animal. It's not going to have facial expressions. It's not a cartoon. They oh, weren't really? trying to go down the road of a cartoon. They were trying to do live action. So, of course, whenever they expressed, you know, happiness, sadness, anger, it wasn't through their face. It had to be through their tone of voice. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So did they make them look like real animals? Yeah. They were yeah. hyper, um, super ultra real. Realistic. Yeah, super realistic. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I would see it. I feel like, okay, just on principle, the fact that Disney's trying to make more money on movies they've already made is like kind of like, uh, guys, make something new. Well, I definitely would not have gone to the movie theater to pay and watch it. No. No. Because I've... I've seen all those in animated form. It's not a whole lot different. Yeah. Um, I mean, they're nice, they're good, but it's like, okay, nothing special about it. It's not a unique story. Um, which I did go to the movie theater to see it, but it was I was like a chaperone on a field trip. Yeah, I would um, also, yeah. J JD was a chaperone on a field trip, had to deal with kids. I would go crazy. When I was a, in school, <laughs> I used to have chaperones. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. They just get to go to the museum for free with us. Now, just imagining being a chaperone for a bunch of kids gives me anxiety. It's like, besides just the fact that that would be annoying, it's like, what if I lose well, a kid? Or Yeah. Did well, you guys have the buddy system when you were um, in school? It's like, I run pair up with your buddy. Um, and then afterwards, yeah. you have to be like, is everyone's sure. buddy here? Yeah, I remember. Well, I mean, um, when I did that field trip, the kids were older. They were like middle school. Oh, that's even worse. And they were fairly quiet. Oh, that's good, I guess. Yeah, I don't they didn't know. give me no trouble. Oh yeah, you 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 gave him a look. You're like, look, anyone gives us trouble, and then you give him like this eye that you're like, oh please, mm -hmm. if anybody sees me, they know. <laughs> <laughs> I know not, not to I'm not a stern-looking person, so. Yeah. I was with a group. I, they, of course, when you're a chaperone, you have to be with a group. They, oh yeah. They assign you kids, so I had like a group of five or six, which most of them were girls. And they really just kept to themselves, and you know they didn't give me no trouble. So I was like, good. Oh, that's because you. That's because they knew better than to give you trouble, right? I mean, Just kidding. I, I know that uh, we've been going to a couple times to Elitch Gardens, which is an amusement park here. And they just recently sent an email like, hey, 
if you're coming here and you're under 16, you have to be with a chaperone or an adult. 17. A 17? Yeah. So I guess they've had trouble kids with kids uh, in that park. 17 and under. I was surprised. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess they've had enough of those kids. Because I do have a lot of kids just Which I get it. I was around. there. I was at that age. You want to be cool. You want to do cool stuff. Kids dare each other to do stuff. What was the craziest dare you've done? Was it like, I dare you to kiss this boy? And everyone's uh, like, ooh, JD, you got to kiss this boy? Did yeah, you ever play like, Spin the Bottle? No, we played Truth or Dare. I remember playing that. Oh, I did terrible in this battle. Oopsie. <laughs> Oopsie, I got a C. Wow, barely passing. C for crap, Jordan. I know. I wasn't, crap, well, part right? of it was I was not paying attention to what was going on here. Not the best. Uh, not the best as a walkthrough. Uh, we're, we're talking truth or dare. So in order to liven things up, JD and I are going to play truth or dare right Oops, now. Please. Okay, JD, truth or dare. Oh my god, really? Uh, truth? Truth. Tell me, uh, we have not seen the canal pot here. What is your favorite Harry Potter movie? Oops. Oops. I just jumped off. That was dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was not at all what I was trying to do. He was like, ah! So you gotta tell me what's your favorite Harry Potter movie. My favorite Harry Potter movie? Oh, oh no, gosh. I just, whoa, I just jumped on top of him. Whoa, surprise attack. Wow, well, they surprised us. That's not good. Oh, uh, gosh. I just um, screwed up twice in a row, so yeah, you're gonna have to keep us entertained while we do another another battle. Uh, okay, so these guys like to do power attacks, so we should definitely yeah, take them out with some speed. Like, I've only seen, like... A lot of them I've only seen, like, once. So it's, like, hard to say what's the favorite. Is it bad that, in my mind, I can't remember which Harry... What had happened in what Harry Potter movie? They all just blended together it's into one so big movie. It's been so many years. I wish I had seen them more often, you know. It, it's kind of like the Star Wars movies have, like, distinct things where I'm like, Oh, I remember that happened in Return of the Jedi. This is right, right, right. Empire Strikes Back. But for the Harry Potter, for some reason, they all just blended into a single movie in my mind. I feel like the one where they were like... Oh, gosh. The one where they were kind of like messing around with time. Which one was that? Yeah, I'm trying to think which one that, that was. That was Harry Potter and the DeLorean. I feel like it's the fourth one. Harry where they Potter, were like messing Prisoner around with Basketball? time. And they were going back and forth. Is that the, the Half-Blood Prince? No, I don't think so. Uh, the Steph Deathly Hallows is the last one. Right, right, that, right. That book was super long, too. It was yeah, like it was a thousand pages. Yeah, what was it called? I don't think it was The Prisoner of Azkaban or The Goblet of Fire. Oh, yeah, The Goblet of Fire. The Goblet of Fire was the one where it started know. with them uh, in a Quidditch like World Cup. Like, all of a sudden, Quidditch became like soccer, like FIFA, and it was like a Quidditch World Cup. At that point, I, they almost kind of gave up the pretense of, like, we're hiding from muggles. It's like, she was the just Goblet like, oh. of Fire? Yeah, that's Goblet It was a Fire. tournament. It was a tournament, right? Yeah, but it wasn't Quidditch. At least I don't think it was Quidditch. I think it was different things. Was it just the Olympics? It was like Wizard Olympics. Uh, I guess, if you want to call it. When do the Olympics start? That's got to be soon, right? It's soon. Right? This will put you out of yeah, I can't remember what that one's called. I... I... It's, Order of the it's, Phoenix. It's driving J JD crazy. Maybe it's the Order of the Phoenix. Oh, maybe. It might be that one. Maybe. Where they start up a team, uh, a secret society, and they like learning stuff so they could protect themselves in the school. I think it's that one. I thought that one was interesting. It was really tense. I remember feeling really tense about it. Oh, where they were like trying that's, to figure out. That's good when there's a lot of tension. Oh, we just finished listening to an audiobook with a lot of tension. Um, it was called the. Uh, under the Wicked Moon. Mm, it was yeah, like, that was I, a good one. Yeah, it was like, I don't know how I found out about it. Probably in a very random way. Because it was like a self-published book by an author who's only written a few books, so he must just be starting out. But it was really um, impressively well-written. And uh, very tense. Very, yeah, very tense. Yeah, it starts off slow, but if you give it a chance. It's, yeah, I was impressed by it. Uh, where am I going? I'm going the wrong way. I am going in the I wrong hope, direction. I hope to be as good as that, you know. As a writer? 
Yeah, 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 you guys have to check out. We have another project coming soon, which is going to be a podcast. We're turning JD's short stories into podcasts. But I don't know if we fully mm-hmm. want to discuss all the details, but stay tuned because I don't know if we're fully ready. Um, but that's going to be happening Yeah, I'm soon. still working on it, man, the first um, episode. But we do have another podcast you guys can check. <laughs> oh, yeah, we do. Uh, oh, I, I need to go back backtrack this was just i guess to get that treasure what was in that treasure i should have been paying more attention i think i got a another amulet oh yeah i got head on when you had to have head makes kinship gauge fill up faster okie dokie sounds good to me yay uh okie dokie where am i going back to the start oy 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 this is not the way you need to go oh my goodness I don't know if this is randomly generated, like this bigger one, or if this is, um, I need to go this way. I get confused by maps. I always have to use Google Maps. I just have to have the lady tell me, turn left ahead. And I'm like, here? And she's like, no, freaking 100 yards. Does this look like 100 yards? You idiot. And I'm like, man, I should get I a always collider. get mixed up, too. I always turn in the wrong place a lot of times. I'm like, I must not be good at listening right. or something. And then the navigation is like, no, you stupid idiot. You turn the wrong direction. Like and I'm like, man, I gotta get a more polite navigation system. That's how Do you remember rude. when they used to have them separate? It was like this device. Oh, the Tom Tom? Yeah, Tom yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom Tom. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I still get emails from, because I had a Tom Tom and I signed up, and they still send me emails periodically. Get out. They're like, we're updating our maps. Please connect it to the internet to update your map on your device. Get and I'm like, you out. still exist as a company? I did not know that. That is hilarious. Who has a Tom Tom? Uh, I don't know. But wow. Yeah, I was That's surprised because I'll just randomly get an email from Tom Tom like, oh, are you good? Or I think they want you to pay for the updated maps too, which is like crazy. What? I believe I, I'm you not 100 percent sure. On don't, your phone or if you're on a Tom Tom, don't be like, oh, that's not true. I'm not 100 percent sure. But I know I have gotten emails from them like, hey. Yeah, I used to have a Garmin GPS. Yeah, I used to have a Tom Tom, and I, I remember when it first came out, we thought it was the most amazing thing. Right. Prior to no, navigation. No, I lost. It's pure. It's really accurate. Well, I remember the most amazing thing, uh, which I don't even know Uh-oh. if the site exists anymore. MapQuest. Oh, Do you Map remember MapQuest? Map yes. Like that was a big Whoa. deal. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's gonna get me. Damn. I guess I probably should fight him for the experience, but we'll just we'll just, we'll just we'll just go up here. We'll run away. Yeah, I'm running away from monsters because I, I want to kind of get this story and moving along. People used to come to the library like all the time. <laughs> the print directions. Like, print out, yep. Uh, why did I walk over here? This is a dead end. Uh, why aren't you looking at the map there? It's right there in front of your face. Oh, okay, there's a map. I got across the water. Oh, my God. Um, so, yeah. But I remember... Uh, you need a Tom Tom right now. I know. Jeez. I need someone like on the in the game telling me, turn left ahead, turn right. Good job. You idiot. You idiot. Do you Tom. remember you could get Tom Toms with like voices? Like you could get a SpongeBob Tom Tom. It was like, turn your left ahead. <laughs> you like my SpongeBob impression? What is that? Uh, clearly, that was clearly the best not. SpongeBob no, you've no, ever no, heard. No, 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 clearly not. <laughs> clearly, best SpongeBob in the world. Nice, right? Shoot. Uh, let's get off because we're going to have to steal an egg. It's just going to be as easy as that, right? If you guys know anything about this game and how everything's gotten, it's gonna be easy. Just go in there, grab the Just egg, go and, and go. grab. Oh, he smells something. Like, it wasn't me. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh okay. Okay. He's so colorful. Navaru, get out of there. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh, oh yeah, this is the guy that uses poison. Uh oh. Ooh, I look angry with my tooth sticking out. Yeah, you look really vampy there. Uh oh. Uh, he looks like amphibious or something. Kind of like um, the guy from The Shape of Water. <laughs> the, the, uh, the creature from the Black Lagoon. <laughs> what was its name? I forgot. Uh, was it the same creature from Hellboy? Did they ever confirm that? Or they were like, it's no, they left it up in the air. It's really? so funny. Because it's the exact same it looks guy, so similar. Right? It's the same guy too. The same really, actor. the same actor? Yeah, because I went, I was looking it up. I was like, I need to know if this is the same. It's the same creature, you know, because it looks exactly the same. They even used the same actor. It was, it was kind of like trying to tie in the two worlds, you know. 
It was uh, so strange. Yeah. But they would neither confirm or deny it, you know? Yeah, I guess, well, you know what, it, it could have been a rights thing too, maybe Hellboy, you know, in order to use that character, they would have had to pay money or something. So they didn't want to admit it. You yeah. know? I, I would assume that that's the case because it's like, if they wanted to use that character, it's probably owned by Dark Horse, whoever does the Hellboy comics, and they would have had to pay for the rights, and then whatever studio made Hellboy would have also held the rights, but it wasn't the same one. So I can see why they didn't do that. Well, it's just weird how they were able to use a creature, I guess because they came up with it? They, they probably just changed it just what enough. What was he Mushrooms. Something's bad. Who's this oh, poison? Oh my god, he filled up his uh, mouth there. Oh. Yeah, he's really all poisoned out. Uh, okay, let's just do a charge tackle. He's like totally leaning forward. That's so heavy. Right, with all the poison <laughs> in his mouth. It looks weird. Oh, Whoa, oh man. my god. Oh, he just pooped purple all over us. That's disgusting. Oh, someone actually evaded it. Avmar, that's the name of oh, I am almost dead. Okay, so it's telling us now that you can attack specific parts of the body. I need a potion because I'm about to die. Yeah. Is she using one on me? Uh, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna use one on myself just in case. Oof. Close one. Oh, so we both used it on ourselves. I figured that might happen. Yeah, I was like, I saw she was using a potion. I'm like, is she using it on me or is she using it on herself? But she's she was nice. I'm not gonna use it. Clovis is dead. Oh man. A heart is lost when a rider or monster's HP reaches zero. After losing a heart, your kinship gauge will charge up faster for a certain number of turns. You will lose the battle of all hearts if you please. So this has never oh, happened no. to me before. I never lost a heart before. Oh my god. So interesting. A um, first. Yeah, a and first, I gotta. People. I gotta use a potion or an herb on myself again, because. Yeah, that last attack took more than half there. I guess. Yeah, right. That was that was a tough one. This battle is a little tougher than I expected. Yeah, this is a boss fight. Well, he has got a lot of attacks to attack all of us, so that's. Oh, he's right. taking out the tail. Uh, I should use an antidote on myself too. Items. Uh, antidote. Clear that poison from my body. Wow. Nice. Oh, we broke his head. Broke his head? <laughs> and we broke his tail, I think. Or maybe not. Yeah. The tapping part is easy. I got that. I wonder if it gets harder later where it's like you break your finger tapping. <laughs> Have you ever done any of those games where you have to tap so hard you're like breaking your finger? Right? Yeah, for sure. Alright, watch Sorry, this. Arcade games, uh... Yeah, watch this kinship move. Well, first I'm just gonna do a regular attack to take him out, and then I'll use the kinship move. Ooh, we broke him. Boom. Taking him out. Oh, he's stunned. stunned. Pukey, pukey. It's funny because there's a Temtem in Pukey. That's true, yeah. But that spell the same. Uh, okay, so he... There's Pookie. 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 The other one's Pookie. Pookie, yeah. There's a difference. One's Pookie and this is Pookie. Killer strip. Munch time? Oh, he's doing the poison oh, thing no. again. Uh, right. Okay, so let's use our kinship skill to take him out. So watch this kinship skill. Okay, I'm eat some, watching. Eat some horseshoe crabs just happen to be on the ground for some reason. Somehow they crawled over. And then I punch him in the neck. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I show my kinship with my oh beast is by God. punching him in the back of the neck. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I broke him again. Wow. Uh, okay, this attack. Just flopping oh. around. Uh, I'm gonna try using that hammer, because my hammer is like way powered up. I should actually be using the hammer every time, because it's level 3. Yeah. <coughs> Why are you holding out, George? I'm like giving you guys bad tips. Don't watch what I'm doing. <laughs> Boom, hammer time. 100. So when they're down on the ground, you're, all your hits are critical, which is nice. Oh, yeah, because it's just there. 
Oh, he's got my help. Uh, he's not working together. Oh, well, the hammer is not strong against him, so I guess I shouldn't use the hammer. Oh, okay. Maybe the, the arrow? Let's try the arrow. Probably not, because he's already oh, poisoned. Cool. Let's see. Mm, take that. Whoa. He should be dead soon. Oh, he died. Oh, there you go. Oh, sweet. So much for that guy. So much sorry, Pookie Pookie. <laughs> yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, leveled up, leveled up. Oh, right, I got an A rank on this one. Got lots of scales, a sack. Oh, look at all these sacks I got. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm gonna have so many sacks. Ladies are gonna love me with all these sacks. <laughs> okay, so let's grab the egg and hurry back. Um, sometimes there's items here, but. I was reading in the guide that you shouldn't linger around in these nests too long because they can come back the monsters. Yeah, I think they do mention it there. Yeah, okay. So I only got to choose that one egg. Alright, so let's take this. We got ourselves a pookie pookie. And pookie then we're pookie. gonna go and we're gonna leave the monsters then. Cool. Building up a zoo there. That's true. <laughs> they should have a uh, expansion for this where you do like create a zoo, <laughs> monsty zoo. The monsty zoo. The monsty zoo. Huh. It was a graveyard smash. It was the zoo. It was the monsty zoo. What's all that sleepy fish? I don't know. I don't know what the fish do. It's probably like a quest where it's like get me three sleepy fish and then I'll be like oh, boom, okay. sleepy fish. Here you go. All right, all right, all right, all right. So let's keep going. Let's keep going. Get some more bones. Uh, I keep forgetting I can do the fast travel. So by the way, if you guys ever want to just fast travel, you can go caravan stands, village, and then boom, you're back. Oh, OK. I know I was walking back. I guess I was giving you guys a scenic <laughs> tour. You forgot the caravan? The caravan. <laughs> I just forget that that's an option here. And we could go complete some of our quests. Let's see. Oh, I guess just one. Hatching some eggs. <laughs> you seemed like you did a lot. No. I felt like I did more, but that's fine. That's fine. That's cool. I'll keep working on it. Did I get some shrooms for that guy? I don't think so. I think, when you've, I think when you've completed it, he's got like a symbol above his head. I guess not. Oh, oh okay. No. Nope, he disappoints right. him again. Let's talk to the chief. Hey, chief. Aye, aye, chief. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't you just love it? <laughs> yeah. He got claws. Are you sure? Yeah, it attacked us right out of the blue. I don't know if this is because of Guardian Ratha, but strange things are happening all over the island. Hmm. Without Guardian Ratha's influence. Monsters may be having a hard time restraining themselves. Oh boy. I thought so too. They may also not like that you're stealing all their eggs. <laughs> Just a thought. <laughs> right. Of course. You both have my permission to enter the sacred mountain, but make sure you're ready. Oh, no. You got it, buddy. Okay. We need so we're an gonna army. go. Yeah, alright, so this is the last mission before we get on the island. We're gonna go see Guardian Ratha. Uh, Ooh. That's also pretty much where the, the tutorial ends, is when we f do that final battle with Guardian Ratha. Oh, okay. Um, okay, so let's get better weapons for sure. We uh, did say to get ready. Upgrade. Let's see what Stock we can upgrade. Up. So you can only upgrade three levels, by the way. So you're like, oh, I want to keep going. You got to get a better hammer if you want to get stronger than that. Uh, oh, I still don't I need to get... I should have fought more cool Yakus. I get a different bow? I have stuff to upgrade. Uh, Whoa, that's something. Wow. Beak. Oh, that's the beak from the. Wow. Cool weapons. Uh, well, there's plenty of these. So you have you can have the sword and shield too. Uh, lower attack, but it increases your defense. So maybe one of these is cool. <coughs> Ooh, sorry. I think I'm gonna have to take a drink of water. Oh no, I don't have any water. Uh, let's see. Oh, I do have a ton of bows. Maybe I can get one of these other ones. 
Which is the one? I have the Kulu one, right? Yeah, so what's yeah. the Hunter's Bow? Yeah. Oh, I could get this one, Monster Bones. Yeah, so I could probably upgrade this one some more. Cool. It looks cool too, right? It matches <laughs> my armor. Badass. Okay, so now can I upgrade that? Uh, Hunter's Bow. Oh yeah, see this one, I got plenty of stuff to upgrade. Um, one, two, three. Boom. Upgrade. Okay, you gotta change. Uh, can I upgrade it again? No, I need eight. Any more monster bones? Them uh, bones, them bones. Them bones. Must I can be upgrade cool my the concept sword. art, right? The concept art for the weapons alone. That yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, they spent a lot of time designing a lot of stuff here. Oh, I don't have enough earth crystals, so I guess I can't do that one. Can I upgrade my armor. Uh, nope, not quite enough monster bones. Okay. I guess I should have forged for more stuff. Uh, okay. Uh, weapons. I guess that's fine. We'll figure it out. These, well, these early parts are not that hard, so I wouldn't stress too much about it, guys. Guys, if you're stressing, guys, don't stress. Stressing? Yeah, yeah, no well, What's the fun in the game, then? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no don't stress. Uh, okay, let's go hatch that one egg I got to see what we got. We got a new monster, part of our crew. We're gonna call it the Wooly Crew. The Wooly Crew. Oops, over here, hatch that egg. Let's see, let's see, let's see, what is it? Is it Pookie Pookie? Aww. Pookie Pookie! Aww. He's so cute. Aww. It looks so much cuter when they're little. It's like, it's got a face of a chameleon or something. Right. Right? Uh, so let's see, let me name him something. Come on. There it goes. Um, I'll name him... Um... Uh, Free? Freddy... There we go. Wow. Why is there an extra D there? <laughs> uh... The, the triple D, because he's a big fan of diners, drive-ins, and dives. So triple D. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I think a lot of people make fun of Guy Fieri, but I gotta admit, when he's watching his shows is even though I'm like, oh, there's so many good shows out there, why would you watch that? But you know, his show definitely I feel like is entertaining, and it always makes me hungry. I'm like, ooh, that looks. I good. mean, he's ooh, not the one that good. does the entertaining, really. Yeah. What's entertaining is watching these mom and pop places, you know, like, like how, they, their, their how they started, their history, their backstory. Um, and then the recipes, they start cooking it up right there. All he's doing is just watching and telling silly jokes. Right. Think about it. Yeah, let me think about it. Yep, that's all he's doing. He's just telling all these silly jokes. Any chef could have done it. And then, you, well, you gotta do, this, there's always this scene in any Triple D. I'm gonna call it Triple D. There's always a scene where he's eating the food and he has to do such a big reaction to it. It's yeah. like, he has to take a huge bite and be like, oh, 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 that's good. Mm, mm, yeah. Like, like overact eating like a burger or something. I mean, I would say most <laughs> chefs do that. They become actors. Okay, so we gotta go to Guardian Roth. I wonder if they ever try something that was that good. Yeah, well, if he did, he probably wouldn't, like... Because he's never been... I've never seen an episode where he's like, Oh, this is garbage. Don't need yeah, that's here. never gonna happen. Like, I feel like he has to act like it's good no matter what. Right. Well, I'm pretty sure the chef is gonna make it good because he's, like, on TV. So even if, like, the food is normally garbage, like, the chef is not gonna make it garbage when he's <laughs> right? on TV, right? I would say that would be he's gonna bring embarrassing it. if it was oh. shit food. Uh, so this is a rare monster's den. So when you see these gold dens, you should oh. definitely grab them. Uh, pro tip. This is George's pro tip. We're getting a little punchy now because we've been playing for like two and a half hours straight. Yeah. Well, I'm getting punchy. JD's getting tired. <laughs> She's got her blanket. I wish we had a face cam so you could see her with no, shut up. bundled up with her blanket. She thinks she's like I'm... in front of a fire. She needs like a pipe. Because <laughs> I'm just sitting here, so I got low blood pressure right now. Oh boy. And the AC's going. Okay, so these guys are weak against the hammer. So I'm going to bring the hammer. But he's weak against the sword, maybe? Let's see. 
Gotta figure it out, George. You gotta figure out. At least it tells you there in case you forget. The little bugs are easy to kill. Oh my gosh, we were speaking of easy to kill. Wasn't that the name of a James Bond movie? Easy to kill? It is? Easy to kill. Hard to kill? Uh, time to kill. Time to kill. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's it. Oh, the No Time to Die is uh, the latest one, which was filmed like four years ago, but it's coming out this year in October. Alright. That one got like super delayed. Which I was like, is Daniel Craig playing the oldest James Bond ever? And interestingly enough, the answer is no. I don't think so. So the oldest James Bond is in the movie, uh... So I think, I forget, this guy I think he typically does technical. Um, strength is strong as technical, take him out. Uh, so the oldest James Bond was in the movie A View to a Kill. Um, which has a great song by Duran Duran, but also uh, <laughs> has Roger Moore at 57 playing James Bond with like a, uh, I don't know, 19 like year old Bond girl, 20 what? year old Bond girl. It was so yeah. strange. I didn't think she was that young. I mean, Roger Moore, my favorite thing, James Bond by far. I would always say 100% Roger Moore is the way to go uh, when it comes to Bond. But he was a little old for that movie. And he even admitted, he was like, I was way too old to play Bond. It was yeah. supposed to be Timothy Dalton, but... Yeah, it didn't uh, look pretty awkward. Oh, this guy, smooth move, picking up that rock, because I think that's going to save him. But yeah, it was kind of all awkward all around. And he couldn't really do too many stunts or anything, because he was like... Um, he was up in age. Yeah, he was up in age. Yeah. I didn't know. So they had to be really easy on him on what he could do. Christopher Walken played the bad guy, which was an awesome portrayal. Because <laughs> Christopher Walken got to go like 100% crazy. So, in top form. Looney. Oh, I got like everything from this guy. Now I could probably upgrade my weapons, but it's too late now. I don't feel like going back. You can't go back, only forward. Oh, here's the monster. Oh, he's Keep awake. Going. We're going to have to fight this guy. No, he's asleep. Oh, he's sleeping. Yeah, I think he Oh, is. yeah, you're right. He's sleeping. Yeah. He's sleepy time. Shh. 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 Oh, he's got... Oh, he's got a bunch of bones back there. Oh, it's Golden gold. Fragment. <laughs> Don't wake up. Quiet. <laughs> mm, no, you smell like much. Let's not stick around until it comes. Gets me good. Uh. One more. Oh, there we go. Now I got the good Ooh, one. We got the Luma egg. Kind of stinky. <laughs> let's get out of here. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. Or She's shiny. In, in Pokemon, it's called shiny. Us. In time time, it's called Luma. Right. Alright, let's get out of here. Alright, so I just detoured to get another egg, but we're not going to hatch anymore. Bird we're we're on our way to do something. We don't have time for side missions anymore. We've got to go to see Guardian Ratha because he's all upset. Or she's all upset. I'm not sure if it's a he or she. It. They are all upset. Non-binary. They, yeah. They are all upset. They're um, set, man. So yeah, we're gonna go see Guardian Ratha. We're gonna see what's up. You're going to the woods. All right. Into the woods we go. Oh yeah. What's that there coming? A... There we go, Guardian Ratha Woods. Oh. <laughs> what's gonna happen now? Ooh, I like the piano. Yeah, this this game actually has pretty good music. Yeah, it's I have got to say. good music. Like the intro music, this music. Uh, it's not a well traveled path. Okay, so we gotta be careful. No, duh. I was gonna be careful. You didn't have to tell me that. Yeah. Like my, what are you, my mom? Telling me stuff I already know. <laughs> <laughs> JD has no comment there. <laughs> 
No, I was just yeah, looking at this place and trying to think of the name of this place. And was it Thailand or something? Oh, Let's get yeah, those, those temples. Yeah, yeah, yeah. those ruined temples. And I'm I like, believe, I can't remember the name. They were in Mortal Kombat, the first Mortal Kombat movie. Oh, but you're talking about the Ankh, 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 oh God, what was it called? I don't know. Um, so but they were. If you watch the first Mortal Kombat, you could see like. Some yeah, yeah, like it's on something, but at the beginning, and then Lord Raven. I'm talking like, about the ones in the woods, like it. It's in the tree. The trees took over it. The ruins. Yeah, it. You know what it reminds me a lot of is Tomb Raider. Those type of ruins. Yeah, it was in Tomb Raider. It was in Tomb Raider. Yeah. The movie, right? And yeah, I think yeah, one yeah. of the games. It probably inspired yeah some of the stuff in the game too. Oh yeah, we were. We found out that there, do you know there was a Tomb Raider ride in Kings Island in Cincinnati based on the Tomb Raider movie, not the video games, but the movie. Um, and it was like the first time they did like a Disney Universal style ride, Universal Studios style yeah, ride fully, in like yeah. a you know just a regular theme park, Kings Island, because Paramount owned the rights to Kings Island or something. It was like fully yeah. realized. Yeah, it was like the a spinning ride inside ride, of this yeah. temple that they spent a ton of money on to try to make it all fancy and stuff. Uh, I don't want, I want a different lead monster. It was a stuff. shame it didn't last. Yeah, because well, the, it was all it had to do with rights again. So it's like they got bought out with new rights, and it was bought by another company, and Paramount yeah, wanted to keep the rights to something. Tomb Raider. So they had to change the names of all the rides, and they had to change anything specifically related to the Tomb Raider movie, which was like everything. So it was a disaster, and <laughs> yeah. there was just no way they were going to be able sad. to keep that. Because people were saying that they really liked it. It's like if someone, if another company bought Disney, and Disney was like, "Okay, you can keep these rides, but you have to take everything Disney related out of the parks." Like, well, <laughs> Could you imagine? What's the point of this? I wonder if they're eventually going to have to do that at Islands of Adventure with the whole Marvel area. Because oh. I would imagine at a certain point, I mean, maybe they signed a lifetime contract that they don't ever have to change it. <clears throat> so at a certain point, I would think if Disney would want to say, hey, like, give us our Marvel stuff back. Sure. They started putting Marvel stuff in the Disney parks now. Yeah, they did. Which that was a whole issue, too, I think, because I don't think they were allowed to do it for a while because they signed away the rights to Marvel to Universal. Yeah, I'm not sure. So I think you have to work out some kind of deal there. Uh, okay, where am I? Where am I going? What am I doing? I guess I should fight more monsters to level up, right? Uh, well, I, I guess I should be somebody. strong enough level to fight. Um, I guess I'll fight this guy. I'll be even matched because we're the same. What if they just didn't fight each other? They're like, we're the same creature. Why are we fighting each other? And then they turned on us. Everyone turned on us. <laughs> Let's fight like, these oh humans. boy. This did not go according to plan. Okay, so I gotta use a hammer on these guys. So are you guys supposed to be humans or like aliens or what? I, I'm what pretty sure we're, hum I, I, we're humans. Okay. There's a part later where they explicitly say we're humans because oh, we need okay. some other creatures. Gotcha. Hammer time. Did you see how much damage I did? It was yeah. 69. 69. I did the sexiest amount of damage possible. <laughs> Real sex uh, Switch to the bow and arrow. I got my hunter's bow. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Jeez, badass. Uh, so this guy, I think, normally does technical attacks. Let's hit him with the bow. Oh, I dig up a stone. Got yourself a stone. Oh, he's dead. So much for his like bug friends. Like a pet rock there. Wow. Ah, oh, nice. So... With the bow, one thing you can do is charge your attack, so for one turn you don't do any attack, but then the next turn you do extra damage. So it's kind of worth it. Oh. And you can poison them too, which is nice. Cool. Whoa. Oh, another sexy damage attack. Head smash. Ooh. Use your head! There we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit him with the poison shot. Uh, poison coatings. He does technical, so let's do power. Oh, uh, no, he picked up a rock. Oh, you suck. <laughs> I should have known he was gonna do that. Copycat. I need my hammer. 
much. I did poison him though. Which oh, is yeah, nice. I, see I guess I could poison him through the rock even though I <laughs> Oh, I get to do the power shot twice. Uh, yeah. okay, so let's switch to the hammer. Actually, I can ride my guy and just do this. Uh, like maybe this isn't the best move. Oh, whatever. Let's just do the, the kinship skill. Eggs. Explosion. Explosion. He runs pretty fast. Yeah. For a cat. Cats don't normally run fast, do they? No. I mean, I... He's not gonna be as fast as this dinosaur, okay? Alright, cat versus dinosaur. I guess that would be one matchup I'd like to see. <laughs> Do you think if they ever created a real world Jurassic Park, it would be crazy, right? Everyone would be trying to go there all the time, right? Yeah, it would be, be. It would be even more popular than Disney. Oh my god, it would be. I mean, it would be amazing. They wouldn't. I mean, they could sell tickets for a thousand dollars a pop, and people would go. Only oh, certain okay, people. Go. Oh yeah. <laughs> you and I wouldn't be able to go. Oh, yeah, we would have I'm to stay for a while. They could sell tickets for. I mean, they would sell tickets for ten thousand dollars a pop if they had dinosaurs. Right. People would. I mean, that's like priceless to see something like that, right? Yeah. What, <laughs> what an experience. Uh, let's go. Let's go. I'm avoiding fighting now. I'm gonna, <laughs> let's hurry up and get out of here. Uh, I think I I'm strong to. enough to fight. Uh, okay. Let's change. Boom. Is there anything on there? I guess not. Let's go and build it. Yeah, there's nothing here. Well, that's pointless. Oh. Let me look at my map. Uh, let's see what we got here. Good class. Are these those shrooms that that guy wants? Unique, Unique mushrooms. mushrooms. Oh, okay. I think he called them dusk. Dusk, dusk shrooms? shrooms, right? Yeah. He's like, yeah, man, I want some dusk shoes, get myself high. <laughs> you don't know if that's what he wants it for. Yeah, maybe he just wants to put him on his pizza. Yeah, exactly. He likes mushrooms. What's your favorite pizza topping? Go. My favorite pizza topping. Oh, gosh. Um, Mine is spaghetti. What the? <laughs> I like when they what? put onions. You like onions? Onions, yeah. Do you, have you ever had it when they put egg on a pizza? I don't know if I care for that. Yeah. They crack an egg on top of the pizza. And I guess for meat, uh, I guess I like the good old fashioned pepperoni. Alright, here's what I like on my pizza. I like, for the meat, Arby's roast beef. And then... <laughs> 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 You're ridiculous. And then for the vegetables, I... We should call up Arby's and give him that idea. <laughs> roast beef pizza. Alright, roast beef. Uh, yeah, I'm getting lost. Where am I going? You, you don't like vegetables, so... Yeah, no, it's hard for me to think of a vegetable yeah. pizza. Yeah, okay. like olives. Here's what I like <laughs> on my pizza. Cinnamon sticks and Arby's roast beef. What the? That's disgusting. What? There's a treasure chest. Should I go back and get it? I'm gonna leave it. I don't feel like going back. I'm getting so much stuff. Yeah, I get a ton of stuff, so... What's this way? Is there like a secret thing this way? There's There's little, little, little you just rabbits. ran over those little rat things. I don't know what they were. Squirrels? Yeah, what is that? If our dog... Oh my god. Go away. Go away. I don't want to fight you guys. I just want to be friends. Such aggression. I don't think there's anything here. This looks like a dead end to me, if I ever saw one. Actually, there is another way to keep going. It keeps going somewhere. Yeah, I should switch my monsters though. I don't, want, I don't really care for the Velociraptor. But you have to keep switching to the Velociraptor in order to jump. Why well, don't like right him? Yeah, he's okay. You started off with him. I was, I've been scared of them ever since I was a kid and saw Jurassic Park. <laughs> so. Uh, um, let's go this way. Oh, these guys are charging. Oh, there's a... There's a where, where is this place? Oh, there's a treasure chest here. Alright, got a vial of acid. So this is why I'm skipping a lot of battles, which is making this go a lot faster. 
Um, because you can just avoid fighting these monsters. Uh, yeah, that's why when I was playing the demo, I, I mean, I think I played like five hours because it's it's pretty it's quite a bit to it. I have to get out. Yeah, it's long. So yeah, you could go into the cat's burrow because you know how cats like to burrow. Yeah, sure. I've never <laughs> heard of such a thing. All right, this is a feline burrow. So you have a few things here. You have a nice. What is that back there? <laughs> a nice treasure chest. A cat or a teddy bear. Um, he sells you some items. Oh. Oh, this is the cat event, so you can save here. Um, and let's go ahead and do that, and we'll save uh, right here. We, we saved it. We're gonna do some more stuff here. We're playing Monster Hunter. Let's We're inside a cat. cat's den. Yay. Look okay. how pretty she looks. Oh, oh. So beautiful. She's got a little flower in her ear. She's got a little flower and a little dress. Oh. Did you ever put any costumes or clothes on your cat? Uh, yeah, we ha had like a devil costume. Oh my god! Did, <laughs> did, did your cat hate it? Yeah, more than anything else. Absolutely it, hated it. And gave you a look like, oh my god! If I can open the, it cat gave food us a myself. demonic look. And yeah. That <laughs> and you guys outfit. were like, oh, it's so cute. Right? And the cat's like, I want to murder you. <laughs> For <laughs> sure. You're lucky. You're ten times bigger than me. <laughs> Well, I mean, they do have claws. That's true. Kitty's got claws. You like hey. your dinosaurs? Has your, have your cats ever scratched you? Like, not scratching, like playing, or just like, oh, I'm trying to scratch you, paw you away, but like scratch you, like, with like intent to hurt you? Oh, for sure. Like, you piss them off enough that they're like, I'm gonna get yeah, you. Yeah, for sure, you know? That's happened. And then we're like, that's it, we're getting rid of this cat. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you can't For sure. do that. I, Even... I've had some pretty nasty cuts from cat from scratches. Oh, for sure. Oh, I can make myself some donuts. Mm, the cat's gonna love that. Oh, Paintballs. Man. What about potions? If I ate a donut right now, probably put me to sleep. Oh my god. It is, it is so a little heavy. late. We're, it's Friday night. This game came out this morning, I believe, or late last night. We're playing it, and. Oh, this is my dinosaur. I was like, why is he attacking me? <laughs> um, we're playing it. We're like, look, I was excited to play this. I want to play. We initially said five hours. You guys are gonna be like, wait, what? Because this move, this is actually four hours. Because it is getting a little late, and you know we're not. We we're getting a little <laughs> punchy. We're getting a little crazy. As whiskers are tingling. Mm -hmm. Our whiskers are tingling too yeah. from so much of I'm, this. I'm tingling. <laughs> oh, oh, oh he's my just, he was, god. He was around the corner Slam ready to you. attack. All right, this is the poison, guys. We yeah, gotta be yeah. careful. Watch the poison. The poison. Oh my god. Uh, so these guys are weak against hammers. Give me my hammer. My hammer, I think, is my strongest weapon because it's level three. Woo. Bring it, it looks on. pretty intimidating. Hammer time. So is the beast side or the end side? The what side? Oh. Which yeah, letter is silent in this bug? Maybe thing. you have to pronounce both of them, like, but Nahabra. It's yeah. probably Nahabra. Oh, no, I would assume the B is silent. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, Pookie Pookie. You poisoned me. Keep up the pace. Okay, I got an antidote. Don't worry about it. Items. Boom. Antidote herb. Boom. Fix it up. Now you're better. I won't let anything happen to you. Take a strike. I take it out his tail. Yeah, he's pretty strong. Okay, actually. Whoa, was that a tongue that came out? <laughs> his tongue. Wow. Is that a Gene Simmons tongue? <laughs> uh, no, I need a. Oh, she's gonna give me an herb, so I just need to fight him. Uh, he uses technical attacks, right? So I gotta use strong attacks. Let's go with the tail. Yeah. Yeah, he uses technical. A lot of these early enemies use technical attacks for some reason. Oh, he broke his tail. Mm. Poor guy. He was like smashing his tail apart. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Power attack. Body. Let's see how his body handles a hammer. Put a dent in it, George. Boom. Nope, no good. Maybe the arrow? No, probably the sword against the body. 
Whoa. Shoot a lot of fireballs. Good job, Clovis. Shooting fireballs at this guy. <laughs> uh, okay, so let's try the sword. Uh, and let's try power. Now you're playing with power. Did you know that was Nintendo's slogan for a while? Now you're playing with power. Now you're playing with power. And then they had a magazine called Nintendo Power, Nintendo power where yeah. they would just sell you. It was basically just marketing. It's like, oh, here are interviews for my developers and buy uh, these games. Yeah, I remember that magazine. Nintendo Power? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I remember I had a... I had a subscription to that. Uh, he's not strong, or his head is... I guess he used the arrows on his head. Alright, Clovis taking him out. We did it. Nice job. Oh no, I died. Oh boy. Oh. Oh boy. good, I have a heart. Oh my, oh my god, gosh. I was not expecting that time. I should go back to that cat den and heal up because that is not I a good heal sign. about the cat den? Yeah. You didn't have any more herbs? Well, I don't know if I can recover a heart from the herb. I, mean, no, I didn't realize I was so dying, low on health. You? you healed up? Oh, I broke him. No, you just gotta smash his head. Ooh. Uh, I guess the sword is not strong as his head. Maybe the hammer. I keep switching weapons. Whatever works. Uh, I can ride too. Um, let's go, smashy, smashy. <laughs> oh, there we go. Boom! Now he broke his head. You got a medal. Oh, proficient part breaker <laughs> Cool. Alright, let's finish him. It's like Mortal Kombat style finishing. Have you ever played any of the newer Mortal Kombat games? No. Me neither. I like used to play the old one, like Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 and Mortal Kombat 3 for yeah, Super Nintendo a ton. Sure. But I don't know if I played a new one if I would be good at it. I feel like it would take me a while to practice all the combos buttons. and all that. Sure. It feels like one of those games that has like a high learning curve, where it's like, okay, to get good, you really gotta spend some time learning all these button combinations and stuff. Yeah, I could imagine. All right, I'm gonna go back to the cat then, because we have a hard boss fight. Probably like the, the injustice or something. Oh yeah, we were playing that. You were playing that one. Yeah. The Justice League you one. You have to perfectly execute those combos. Well, what ends up happening is because we don't really know what we're doing, we just button mash. So we just keep, keep hitting all the buttons and hope for the best. I do a lot of that with Street Fighter, because Street Fighter, the combat system is a little different than Mortal Kombat. Yeah. That's like, true. Mortal Kombat, I used to know the moves and I would do all kinds of cool stuff, but um, oh my god, oh my mm. god, these guys are aggressive. Yeah, this I had learned dead. some from Mortal Kombat, the old ones, but yeah, like I used to know Scorpion. I was more into Street Fighter. Yeah, Street Fighter, I I had trouble. I guess because I never had that game, I just didn't never figured out. And I tried playing it later, and I just didn't have the patience to be like, oh, okay, what do all these buttons do? Um, but I know, I think Street Fighter is generally considered the better game. I think uh, Street Fighter has a lot of fans, I can tell you that for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah, I could imagine. And I think that... Uh, okay, so she's gonna recover all my hearts, I think. Yep, okay, perfect. Nice. Okay, so that should make things better. Sorry, a little detour. Um, but I think generally, you know, I know Mortal Kombat's a highly regarded game, but I think Street Fighter is considered the more complex fighter with more combo, like combos, mm, yeah. and, and there was a lot of characters in Street Fighter, or not Street Fighter, in Mortal Kombat, I don't know if you remember, that you could kind of, like, were kind of cheap, where it's like, you had certain moves that were, like, kind of cheap and were unstoppable. Mm -hmm. Not unstoppable, but it was just like, there was, it wasn't well balanced. There were certain characters that were definitely better than others. Yeah, sure. Like, stronger. Like, I remember Sonya had, like, a really good move, like, this bicycle kick thing that... Or, that if you would just block and wait for the person to come close, you would... You know, there was no defense against it. Yeah, that's it. Smash in the face. Cyrex had this green net that was super hard to dodge. 
that it was like way better than a lot of the other moves the other characters had. So yeah, I, I feel like there were certain characters that were definitely better than others. Uh, okay, we're getting closer. And then okay, if so you learn their moves, they could easily be unstoppable. Yeah, learning the moves were key. Now they show you the moves, but back then you had to like have a book. Yeah. I had to go buy a book. <laughs> and was, like, yeah, it tells you all the combinations for the moves sure. for all the characters. Oh, wow. Fighting games used to be a huge thing. There was so many yeah, for like the so Super many. Nintendo. The PS1 had like a ton of them. Genesis had a ton. Besides Red, Guardian Rapper would never let anyone else ride him. I'm sure he's waiting for Red to come home. That's what Chief Gara always said. But this Red guy's not around anymore, right? So why? The truth is. Once a monster forms a bond with a rider, it never forgets them. Remember that strange light when Guardian Ratha left? Something must have happened then. Otherwise, Guardian Ratha would never have abandoned the island. Okay, let's take a look around. Yeah. Yeah, leave it to me. My <laughs> knows there's something here. Okay, so we're in Guardian Ratha's den. So we're checking out, we're trying to figure out what happened, why he left. Like what? Oh, that part. What, oh, the, the beginning. beginning. Yeah. Ratha was a giant dragon that they were hunting when he took up. Oh, that's her. Yeah. Is it? Red! Nice job. Wow, superhero jump. Okay. I should be insulted. I look exactly like my grandpa. Yeah, that's weird. Why would she yeah, say that? Those eyes look like Red's. Red was one of our leaders. This is his grandkid. Huh? Red passed away a long time ago. I know. It's just I... I actually came to see Guardian Ratha. Red gave me something to bring back here. Something from Red? Oh, oh boy. Whoa, whoa, what was that? Yeah, boy. Hope you guys are ready to fight. Whoa. Something's coming. Over there. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Who's it's that? Anjanath. T Rex time. Oh, you got like. Wow. Oh. He's got like those flaps behind him, like lizards have. Glowing. This looks properly bad, buddy. Please take this. It's Red's old kinship stone. You might be able to use it to calm that monster down. Red's kinship stone. How come you have it? Red, he wanted you to have it. Yeah, what's up? Take it. Okay. Sure thing. <laughs> right Alright, it's battle time. Oh my god. Ooh, scary T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we got it. Um wow. Ratha's not here, big T-Rex is here instead, let's fight him. Um so I believe he uses a lot of power attacks, if I'm not mistaken. Man. Uh well, we'll see what happens. Let's try a speed attack. He's pretty tough, so this this battle's gonna take a little bit of time. Oh well, yeah. Sword's not good against him apparently. I think the bow and arrow is what we need to use here. Fire. Uh, Fire with wire. Let's try the bow. Uh, I need a potion because I'm not looking so good. Let's yeah, heal up. Give myself, yeah, potion. Oh, I think she's gonna give me an herb. She already has it out. Okay, so she's gonna do that. Uh, so he used the fast attack. So what's strong against fast? Yeah, that's speed. Uh, technical. 
Let's see if that works. Thank you. <laughs> She's uh, looking okay. out for me. So nice. Oh, she we get a double to. attack. We both use speed. Oh yeah, so the arrow is strong against him. Cool. So let me charge my attack now. Oh. oh. Yeah, she, he did a lot more damage to her yeah. than she did to him. Oh, that's not good. She needs a different weapon. Her sword's not gonna be good. Oh. Oh, um, God, this thing's mad at us. It's gonna start charging. I mean, it, I thought it was already mad. <clears throat> yeah, it seemed like it was already mad. Uh, okay, let's try technical again. Oh, she gave herself. Oh, I lost. Oh, no. Oh, oh, wow. No oh, one no. left. You're almost dead. Well, You're at least I got that yourself. one hit. Um, I'm gonna have to use a potion. Again. That was close. Yeah, right? That was close. I was, like, hanging on by a thread. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, I do have some hearts, so it wouldn't have been the end of the world, but still, not ideal to lose yeah, a heart to... already at the beginning of a battle. Yeah, you wanna... Uh-oh, chomp, that, that doesn't sound good. Whoa, what the hell? Wow, again, I'm gonna have to use a potion. Oh my god, yeah. Uh, okay. Let's use another potion, or an herb. Uh, well done, steak. <laughs> well done, steak. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. He's super. like, you're eating my brother. <laughs> <laughs> you sure about that? Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be enough to take him out. Right. They do a lot of damage though. Uh can I do it right now? Oh not yet. Um Okay, so the technical didn't work. I guess I'll keep using the yeah. speed attacks. I'm trying to poison him. Because oh, ineffective. It's not working, uh, on no, he can't be poisoned. Because, yeah, poisoning is super useful because it just keeps doing extra damage every turn. Right. Go on the defensive. Uh oh. I don't know if there's anything I can do, really. This charge. Yeah. Cheer. Booster cough has increases elemental attacks. Guaranteed to evade one attack. Active until the end of turn. Can I evade kinship or skills always? That's maybe that. Maybe I can dodge it. He's got his wings out. Oh, uh, defeat. Um, oh boy. Oh, this you not looking good. Oh god. Oh, he got burned. Oof. Uh, I think I have a burn ointment. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Let's heal that burn. That'll fix you up. Yeah, there we go. Okay, take him out. Ooh, critical hit. Nice. Yeah, that's what we need. Fighting fire with fire. Alright, and as I was saying earlier, uh, this one's hitting all of us. Oh, man. Oh. Oh, boy. Oh, oh Clovis no. died. I thought I was gonna have some trouble. Uh, Alright, well, at least he's back at full strength now. Um, okay, let's try... Watch your strength. Power attack. Actually, I need another herb. I constantly heal myself. Uh, what's vital assets? Medicine brimming with endowments restores one heart. Oh, I can actually restore a heart. Oh, That's okay, good to know. I think we want that. What is life suit? Oh, that restores everyone's HP. I should just do that. There we go. Nice. I should have done that in the first place. I didn't know I had that. <laughs> That's good to know. See, you learn something every day. Yeah. Boom, 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 boom. Take him out. Oh, now I can ride him. Um, so he was using what technical attacks? Or... Let's try that. 
I think I picked the wrong thing. Oh, oh no, I did. I cut the right one. Boom. Take that. Uh, and let's use our kinship skill. Actually, I'm gonna try one more attack. Maybe we can weaken him, and then I can use my kinship skill. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Some strategy here, fighting this giant thing. JD's on the edge of her seat. She's actually about to fall off the couch. <laughs> She's so excited. Now yeah, he's pissed. Uh, I mean, I thought he was already. Snout is twitching, trying for it with your next attack. Okay, so we're gonna take out Snout. Oh. Nose. Okay, let's do it. The fireball expulsion. <laughs> yum yum. <laughs> I like how those things just happen to be on the battlefield. Right? Oh yeah. Just come on. Yeah, we broke his nose. Yeah. Oh, there he broke the nose. Ooh. Oh, sorry. I didn't realize I had to click something. Oh, he's down. All right, we can do super critical Some damage. Some real damage here. now. Yeah, take him out. Skills. Uh, no, I gotta do a regular attack. Wow, we broke another part of him. Jeez, now we're doing some stuff. Oh, she's doing some powerful attacks. I don't know how strong he is. I know this battle takes a while, so you guys gotta strap in for a while. <laughs> this is a roller coaster ride, and he gets back up. You only get one turn when he's down. Oh, first. what am I supposed to do? I was supposed what to spin is it. All that? What I wasn't. That? Okay, I screwed oh, that yeah. up. What was I supposed to do? Press R. Up? Well, look like, yeah, you're spinning it. I didn't know what I was supposed to do there. Sorry. It was. What did it say? Press R up, down. Was I, I don't think I was supposed to spin it. No, it looked like you were spinning it at one point because it was going around like that. Yeah, I was doing. I was spinning. I don't know if that was what I was supposed to do. Oh. I'm not sure. It didn't seem to work, whatever I was doing. Sorry, Clovis, you took some damage there. Alright, 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 you should be dead soon. Uh, skills... I think the poison doesn't work, right? Yeah, right. I think you tried poisoning him. Right? You, know, you can't poison him, unfortunately. Yeah. It said ineffective. Mm -hmm. Right. <laughs> Show us how to do that laugh. Uh -huh. Oh, she got a critical hit. Nice. Okay. Yeah, this, this is done. You definitely can't poison this yeah. thing. That's too bad. Wasting time with that one. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, you're a Velociraptor. Oh. Oh, right in the stomach. You think this guy would have a bunch of arrows sticking out of his body, right? right. He'd be like a porcupine. Blood pouring out of him. Like all these arrows. <laughs> and now it's mad, so it's gonna switch up its attacks. Uh, let's try a power attack. Oh, the nose thing again. What is the nose weak against? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try using a hammer on its nose. I feel like a hammer is the way to go because it's kind of like. It. Oh yeah, it's effective. All right. But not effective enough to actually stop him from doing his condensed heat thing. Uh -oh. mm, yeah, he's gonna hit us all in the next. Mm. Uh, Building up power. Alright, so maybe we can smash his nose. I don't think we'll have enough power to smash his nose in time. Just not strong enough. Oh, that did decent amount of damage. Oh, we've killed him! Oh. oh, that's it? That's it? Oh man, that was nothing. Ooh, look at that dramatic death. Right, so much drama. He's like wow. flopping. Kinship always wins! Kinship always wins! Oh wow, Freddy leveled up a lot. I guess nice. I should put Freddy in. Hey, we got an S. That's good, that means we get all the cool stuff, like some more sacks. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness. We did it, buddy. Poor guy, he's, he's dead. always like we, I'm like, you ain't doing anything, yeah. except for when you ask him to throw that egg bomb. Right? Or when he sniffs the eggs for us. 
Seems like this one works differently than the ones I know. My old partner's kinship stone powered up after purifying the black blight. Black blight? The black blight. I've heard of that. There's no way it could have come back, right? Right. Whatever's going on here, it's something totally different. Totally. It makes my first stand on end. <laughs> but this could be something even worse. Oh, boy. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? Uh, oh, that was her stand. started all this. That's probably why the Anjanath lost control, too. You okay, buddy? That was gonna close his mouth. Right, don't go inside his mouth. <laughs> Just as I thought. You really are like Red. She feels bad. Been doing so much killing. My name is Edda. Your grandfather and I were friends long ago. He saved my life. I guess she doesn't age. It's something I, I want to show you. Oh, she is like an elf. So oh, okay. Lord of elf. the Rings rules. Where the elves can live like a Wait thousand up. years. <laughs> She's very touchy. Yeah, everyone in this game is very touchy because the chief was just like rubbing my face. That's true. But you know the chief. You just met this person. She's like yeah. touching your hands and all this shit. Be like, I need my personal space. Right? She's like there in your face. Like, oh, your eyes. Oh, yeah. That egg hasn't hatched yet. It's a gift. It's a Rathalos egg, isn't it? I hid it here so the hunters wouldn't be able to find it. Mm. Smells nice and fresh. For sure a peppy little monster. But the scent is a little different from a regular Rathalos, though. Guardian Ratha gave this to me before he left. He wanted me to take care of it. That's what it seemed like. Wait, what? These strange happenings aren't confined to this island alone. Rathalos are disappearing from their natural habitats. Nobody knows where they're going. Monsters that are usually docile are acting aggressive. There are reports of people being attacked. That's terrible. So this is happening in other places too? That's right. The whole world is getting hysterical. And that's why I'm traveling around to find what's causing this catastrophe. <laughs> what a mess. So when the ocean changed color and you saw that light, what was all that? Well, I don't know yet. But I think Red knew something. He spoke about an omen of disaster. A disaster? Ah, uh, here you are. Huh? Chief Gara. Over here! I saw the lighters go this way. They've got to be hiding that Rathalos somewhere. Find them! The hunters believe we're harboring a dangerous monster. They won't stop until they've found what they're after. If they see this egg, we're gonna be in trouble! That egg. We should go to Ruto Village. The hunters can't harm us there. Ruto Village? It's where I live. It's a Wyverian settlement. Humans aren't allowed in without permission. The hunters won't be able to follow us there. Come with me, please. I just know this Rathalos will help us once it hatches. You want to come too? What's the matter? Are you scared? So is that there is nothing to fear. Yeah, I it's guess a that's right. Because he's got the same color eyes as me. But yeah. Rathalos that's why she said that. Right. It's like a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. Maybe the same color as me. No mere coincidence. You were given Red's kinship stone and now a Rathalos egg. This is destiny. 
in Ruto Village, you can hear the legend of Ray's Wing Ratha, the monster with the wings of ruin. The hunters were talking about that, right? A Rathalos with the power to bring ruin to the world? So the legend goes. I have a feeling it has a connection to the peculiar occurrences of late. All right. Leave the hunters to me. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't nervous. But it'll work out. I'm sure you've got what it takes to make it through this. Huh. You're my first student after all, right? <laughs> yeah, all these people are touchy feeling. <laughs> you watch out for the newbie. Got that, Navi Roof? Jeez. Yeah, like stretch out his face. Yeah, what the hell? That looks extremely painful. Kinship stone. Go now. There's a boat at the bottom of the cliff you can use. Convenient. Yeah, if we go to our adventure. Okay, so this is basically where the trial ends right here. So once you leave the first island. So this part is going to be kind of a blind playthrough because I've not played past this part. Oh. So off we go. The mystery deep Hey, where are they going? Who's this kid? He was there with the hunters at the beginning. Right, yeah. His dad got killed by my Rathalos. Tsukino. I'm here. I need you to tail them. Mission accepted. Moon's blessing emerge. Whoa. Yeah, these are like the hunters, so that's who you play, I think, in other Monster Hunter games. Actually, um, like hunters. Uh, Alright, so let's keep going. Let's see what's coming up next. This will be interesting for me. So his, I thought his dad lived because he was walking out of there. That's true, that was his dad. It seemed like he got kind of burned there a little bit. Alright, here we are. It wasn't that far. Rudo Village is just beyond the hill. Alright, right. <laughs> Race you to the top, buddy. Alright. Alright, story quest. Anna's home. You decide to travel with Anna, the Wyvarian girl, to protect the Raisewing Ratha egg entrusted to her. By Guardian Rather, you set off to her home, a Rudo village, where your grandfather read once four strong bonds with the Liberians living in. Alright, so I guess they're called Liberians, not, uh, not elves. <laughs> um, but very cool. It's like a different thing here. It's like, like a beach. We got caravan. We can save here. We just saved, so it's caravan. 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 Uh, how's Clovey Baby doing? I guess I can put a different monster here. We've been fighting with Clovis for a while. So we'll write him. We'll write him on these warthogs. Oh, there's a different that? type of monster here now. Should we try getting one of these guys? Looks like a stegosaurus. What is it? I don't know. They don't seem to be aggressive. Yeah, I don't care about you. Let's go check out the village first. We'll work our way to catching more dinos. Mm. Mm, stamping across, you got different dinos you can check out. Mm. Yeah, I guess, oh those look like, those definitely look like those things from Jurassic Park. <laughs> you know the one that got um, Lizard things. Newman from Seinfeld, the, yeah. the sprayed in his face. Right. A jaggy. A jag. Ooh, critical. Oh, got kicked in the face. Oh, he does speed attacks. Oopsie. I should have been paying more attention. Oh, no. Oh, oh he well, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, not, a, not, not my, my best battle. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> the, the attack I mean, you won. It's getting a little late. I'm getting a little tired, having trouble to focus on battles and stuff. You know what I mean? No, I mean you need some more Red Bull. <laughs> that's my uh, my impersonation of Ernest. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is a Monster Hunter game. You know what I mean? 
Oh, we're in Alcala. Alcala, Florida. <laughs> <laughs> that one made JD giggle. Thanks for the giggle. That was pretty dumb. <laughs> At least I got a little bit of a giggle. All right, let's let's do this. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I should go to the village first. Most hunters don't stand a chance of catching this way out here. Rudo is just through the woods on our left. Come, let's go. Uh, okay, so we have to go down that way. Um, How do you go? Oh, there you go. There we go. Oh, here's a crystal. Mashalite okay. ore. So funny, we both pronounce it differently. How did you pronounce it? Macalite. <laughs> Macalite. Isn't that like a rapper from like 10 years ago? Huh? Like, Who? sings about thrift stores and some other stuff. Macklemore? <laughs> yeah, Macklemore. <laughs> 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 Whatever happened to Macklemore? I, I guess know. he only had like he kind of only had one hit album. I don't know if he had another. I album. was wondering what happened to what's her name, Idia Zalia, Zalia, oh, yeah. and she's like in t on tour with somebody. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, you can go see oh, her. I saw concert. her name. She was opening for somebody. Hey, is everything okay, buddy? How's the egg holding up? Uh, it's shaking. Oh no! <laughs> it looks and smells nice and healthy. It's sure to become a claudacious Rathalos. I can't wait to meet the little guy. Claudacious. Yes, neither can I. This storyline is kind of like the uh, Dragon Prince now. Oh yeah, about taking the egg to the dragon. Hey. Now it is getting very Dragon Prince-esque. Oh. What the hell? Oh, no. What the hell? Who, who was that? And what does he want with Anna? Oh boy. We're getting like, back. more silence. Yeah, I have nothing to say about it. <laughs> <laughs> right. Here's my thoughts. Silence. It's like, I was like, I'm already taking it. We gotta save her, buddy. Okay, buddy. Um, it's like that one. Have you ever seen that one Kurt Russell movie where he doesn't talk the entire time in the movie? I think it was called Soldier. It was like, he was on a, it was a science fiction movie. Yes. He was like in space. And the entire movie, he does not say a friggin' word. Really? Yeah, I think maybe he says one thing at the end, but he's just silent the entire time. Wow, that's an easy, uh... <laughs> right? I was like, wow. An easy role. Didn't have to uh, memorize any lines. I wonder how I've much heard of the movie, him. but I've never seen it. I wonder how much they paid him to not talk the entire time. <laughs> be uh, silent. Be silent. He's like... He was a librarian in the movie, too. That's why yeah, Maybe he was in some kind of doge, um, ashram or something. There's like no talking policy. Yeah, would you ever be able to do that? Take a bottle of silence? Let's see if I can catch one of these things. Looks like a peacock. Um, I could probably do it. Bottle of silence and not talk. I'm gonna be a let's player who never talks. <laughs> well, there <laughs> Actually, is, there are like, plenty of those that just yeah, do the gameplay. I'm there. sure there's people who turn this off right away who are like, I thought this was a let's player who doesn't talk. Uh, let's see if we can catch one of these guys. Let's throw a paintball at him. Uh, but. Boom. Nope. Can't catch him. Ineffective. He's just one you kill. You don't catch. Oh. Uh, let's see what okay, he does. See? Oh, he ran away. <laughs> and that's considered winning. <laughs> I guess. I don't. I guess I just don't get any items. B for blank. B for that's better luck end. next time, buddy. See, I did the double B. Uh -huh. I feel like I'm playing Scategories. Oh my god. Scategories is the best game to make you feel stupid. Because you're like, hey, here's a list of categories. Think of all of the, you know, type of animals that start with B. And you're like, uh, 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 a, a, a bird? I guess bird? <laughs> or it'll be like, you know, whatever. Think of board games that start with the letter D, and you're like, the, the, the Napoli. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm I always timer... blank. I suck at categories. I'm always just like totally blanking. Well, I think it doesn't help when it's like the t you know the timer. You know the timer's going. Yeah, you're just looking at the you timer. You start to blank out. You're like um... that happens to me with tests like all the time. I'm like, I can't really concentrate since it's out of time. Oh, uh, tests? Yeah. Uh, it's kind of like that, man. I think, is it like Paul F. Tompkins that has like the thing in one of his bits where he's like, every once in a while, I remember I never have to go to school again. 
and a smile just comes across my face. <laughs> it was like, yeah, yeah. Man, I know yeah. exactly what he's talking about. It's like I never have to do that again. Yeah, I guess you can't catch these guys Sweet either. Time. So you just harvest them for parts. So I guess you there's a lot of monsters that you just can't catch. You just get stuff from them. I got a C rating on that one. Not so good. I need to start paying attention to what I'm doing here. Uh, is there anything? I guess I should heal up. Or at least switch my monster up. What about Renmar? I haven't used Renmar in a while. Get some bones. There's so much stuff to collect, right? It feels like yeah, I'm just constantly here, grabbing right? stuff off the yeah. ground. I feel like I have so much shit I'm carrying around. Yeah, where are you <laughs> She like though? opens her pocket, there's like a thousand mushrooms in there. <laughs> like, I think you went overboard. <laughs> Oh, she has like a little back. Oh no, she got back. What's going on here? Don't worry, Anna. We're here to save you. Oh, wait, huh? It's okay. <gasps> that kinship stone. Red? No, of course not. Why do you keep saying red? Red was a dude, it's wasn't it? Right. <laughs> we met on Hakan. <laughs> they all have face blindness. <laughs> and he looked nothing like her. He had like yeah. white flowing hair. Yeah, and a beard. And was like a good and foot tall. taller. What's going on? This guy's a friend of yours, Anna? Yes. He's from Ruto as well. My apologies for surprising you. I'm Alwyn. My duty is to keep our village secure. Well, it looks to me like we might have gotten off on the wrong paw, huh? I'm Naviru, and this is my buddy, a writer from Hakolo Island. Pleased to meet you. I like how they can't say the name because it's all voice acted, so... Where are you talking about? He said, this is my buddy, a writer from Hokoku Village. He can say, this is my buddy, Wulia, because... It'd be impossible it was to... any name, right? Yeah. yeah. Although there was a game where a voice actor said my name, and I was like, how did they do that? I guess they did... It was Forza Horizon. Oh. They put my name in, and they're like, "This is George." And I was like, well, "Oh, that's that? true." Yeah, I was like, "Whoa!" I was like super that? impressed by that. I guess it was just like whatever Microsoft's technology to. Well, I mean, voice. George. They probably have George in their, um, you know, collection or. Maybe they they read like a hundred names. names. Yeah, they probably then, have a collection of names, common names. I'm pretty sure if I put my name in there, they'd be like they wouldn't be able to pronounce it. Mm -hmm. They're like JD. Okay, where are we going? Did she turn me around? Oh, because I went the wrong way. Okay, I guess I gotta go this way. Oopsie. Oopsie. She's like, where are you going, dumbass, this way? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, so, who's that guy to her? Alwyn? Yeah. A friend maybe, or something? Maybe they were lovers. Brother? Boyfriend? Lovers. Lovers. Lovers? Lovers. She just kind of had this smile on her face, like, uh, <clears throat> He's like, hey, cute. I missed you in the hot tub. <laughs> hot tub? Oh, I like this village. It looks yeah, very, it's so cute. very quaint. It looks like a hobbit. These look like hobbit holes, right? Hobbiton. In New Zealand. New Zealand. Oh, man. We got one day we're going to do our dream trip to New Zealand, right? Yeah, Check out. for sure. Check out all the cool stuff. Like, it's mostly just seeing all the cool, like, nature stuff and the trails and the countryside. And a lot of outdoors and stuff to do, yeah. for sure. So we should definitely go while we're younger. Well, we can still handle it. Ugh. Man, you're gonna see where Lord of the Rings was filmed. They do tours. Or Hercules of Legendary journal Journeys and Xena. Did you know those were filmed in New Zealand as oh, well? Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, okay, so we're in a different village. We have a quest board here. Can I actually turn in some of the ones? Kinship stone level. Strengthen your bonds with your monsters and battle buddies will level up your kinship stone. This will allow you to accept more challenging subquests with better rewards. Okie dokie. Uh, oh, I do have well done steak. Boom. Give me my money. Oh, you actually get. Okay, so there's a lot of reasons for doing quests because you get experience, money, and items. Okay. Sweet. Um, rider, combining, combining the stuff. Damn, the money I got. I'm rich. <laughs> uh, stone collector. Take my stones. Ooh, Coolio leveled up. Oh my gosh, I'm so rich. <laughs> you uh, act like it's real. I got a quest for completing quests. <laughs> okay. That seems like a little redundant there. Right. 
Oh, it's so it your crit rate for five turns. Oh, that's cool. So I can reaccept more of these. Oops. Cancel. Uh, so allies meet in love and all is meet in love and war. You gotta kill the jaggies. Um, they're common. You only find the warm climates. So get some brutal commodities. Breaking parts. Muscle meat. Zenny exchange. Okay. The co-op ones probably hold off on for now because I think you need a co-op partner to do those. Oh, gotcha. Um, the trial quests I haven't really done yet. I don't know if I'm going to do those yet or not. Well, maybe we'll hold off on doing those. Um, I don't fully know what the deal is with those. So here's Person's the market. Daydreaming. Welcome. He's like, oh, someone's here. Welcome to Rudal Market. Feel free to take a look. Um... I don't know if I need any of this stuff. What's a zest pill? Cures an ally of skill. Let's see, I don't know if I need this stuff yet. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. You're so sweet. Oh. Okay, let's go up here. I'm getting a little punchy because it's getting late. Uh, we've been playing this for what? Three hours now? Four hours? Five hours? Ten hours? Almost five. Oh my gosh. Checking out this town. Someone's carrying food on their head. Hey, young human. I was thinking of buying a bow, but I don't know. Have you ever used one? Now, totally. Alwyn. He's a great archer, even if there ever was one. He says it's hard to mess but it's worth in the long run. Okie dokie. Where am I walking around up here? I guess I'm just exploring this village. What I guess wrong I with that cat? Okay. Ah, throwing, feeling hung up, a psychic young rider stepping outside the village, unprepared is a recipe for disaster. <laughs> so cute. Oh, he's doing exercise. But he keeps falling back, so that's why I was like, what's wrong with him? Oh yeah. He's practicing. Alright, where's the forge? We gotta find the forge. Uh, okay. Well, I guess let's first talk to us and see what our next objective is. Elder Maolo. Grandfather, my apologies for worrying you, but... I spoke to Alwyn. What were you thinking, running off to Hakolo Island like that? Little guy. I had yeah. to keep my promise to Red. He wanted his old kinship stone taken there. And you crossed the sea on your own. Just for that? Elder, Zellert, this is the rider from Hakolo Island. That's me. Naviru and Best Buddy reporting for duty. Nice to meet you, Gramps. Hmm. So you are Red's grandchild. I do see the resemblance, I suppose. We all owe your grandfather a great debt. If there is anything we can do for you, by all means, ask. And where did you procure this? Guardian Ratha gave it to me. And then you brought it here? I had no choice. There are hunters after it. Please, let's keep the egg here. Just until it hatches. Elder, could this egg be? Indeed. Descendant of Red, do you know of the right of channeling? Huh? I see. So you <laughs> come here without yeah, having space. completed the right. <laughs> you are huh? experienced as a rider and have nowhere near the power held by your grandfather. I mean, come on. Thanks for a vote kid. of confidence. You would not be capable of forming a bond with the monster in this egg. What? What do you know of the wings of ruin? Legend speaks of Raiswing Ratha. A monster so powerful it can bring ruin to the world with every beat of its wings. Some even say it was such a monster that laid waste to the village that once stood on this site. So huh? you're saying that inside this egg... It matches the description of the egg in the legend. But... Hey! Quit yanking my tail! <laughs> you don't seriously believe all that! You can't just decide the monster's gonna be evil before it's even born! I know. It doesn't exactly sound fair. However... Should this Rathalos hatch and awaken to its destructive power, 
You will be to blame for what happens. Oh boy. Are you prepared to take that risk? Uh, Buddy. It's a writer's duty to protect the egg they've been entrusted with, no matter what kind of egg it may be. As a start, let's see if the human youth has what it takes to participate in the rite of channeling. Hmm. I confess, I am curious to see what the young one can accomplish with Red's kinship stone. Grandfather. Don't sweat it, buddy. You can do this. Come on, let's get this little guy hat. She called him grandfather. I guess that's I her know, gran yeah. grandpappy. Uh -huh. Okay, so we can go to check out our house. Uh, that's nice. I guess you get a house everywhere you go, um, as you go to different areas. Really? That makes sense, because the house is where you save and have to do certain things. Um, nice. So let's go check out our house. We could probably save it here. Back, we're playing Monster Hunter Stories 2. Let's keep going. We've got so much more to explore. So we we we're now in this village. Uh, let's let's talk to um, Anna and see we're what she's in got to say. We're village. We got past the point of no return when it comes to the demo, right? Yeah, right. This is past the demo. I imagine there's probably like 25 more hours of story going on. Oh, for sure. But now this is something you're not familiar with. Yeah. I just realized there's an option where I don't have to keep clicking A. I can just have it auto advance. <laughs> I'm sure you can too. Okay. Well, she's got confidence in me. Oh, I already did. Nice. I like how she's like, you can use this house. And I've already been in there sleeping yeah, in the bed. Yeah, I've been there. <laughs> she's got a really short dress. It's like when someone helps himself to your fridge before you said help yourself or whatever. <laughs> right. Make yourself at home. Oh yeah, I already grabbed something from the fridge. <laughs> oh my gosh. I guess there's a few there's few people. That's like that's kind of uncommon. It's like maybe just with family where you're like, okay, help yourself to whatever in the fridge and make yeah. yourself at home. And there's people who do it and you're like, um, I didn't tell you to do that. Well it's yeah. like at work if you have like a shared fridge, oh, oh man. boy. Okay. I've had somebody eat my shit. The best is when someone just leaves their um, their stuff in the fridge and forgets about it. Or someone that quit or got fired and they're like, oh, oh man, their stuff's still in the stink. fridge. Oh man, it starts to Lots in there. Oh, we got some horns. Maybe I should try the horns. They're blunt, but then they can also rally. I never used these before, so maybe... Which one looks the coolest? I'm going to base my decision solely on what looks the coolest. Um, um. This one does look pretty cool. Uh, a blue horn. I replace my hammer. Okay. Uh, yeah, so it's not like a horn that you could use to make sound. Well, you can use both. You can use it to make sound, and you can also smash it against people. Um, um. This one looks kind of ugly. I don't like that. <laughs> iron. Do I have <laughs> enough yeah. iron? Oh, I do have some iron ore. I should get the iron bow. Uh, one, two, there we go. Gotta try the iron bow. Nice. So you have different, um, so the different stuff is made out of different materials, so you can equip them, you know, you can upgrade them. Like the bone one is mainly, you're gonna need bone if you're gonna want to upgrade it. Um, Makes sense. Let's try this one. I never really used the sword and shield. Um, do the hunter's knife. Oh yeah, use some iron ore. I guess I still have plenty of iron. Let's try upgrading this stuff. I think this is all the same stuff the other guy had. Maybe there's some extra stuff? Uh, armor? Oh, there's more stuff here. Oh, leather armor. Kinky. Cool. That nice. looks cool. Right, leather? It'd be cool to do the cosplay of this stuff, right? Oh, yeah. A lot of nice uh, outfits she's got. Uh... Or I should say armor. They look so fashionable. Outfits. I like how you call them outfits. Because they, they look do so look, fashionable. They do look more like outfits. Than yeah. I, I would actually, I would point out, be like, it's armor and outfits, but they are really outfits. Right? Uh, let's see what I can upgrade. Upgrade my weapons. Um, so the iron bow. 
Oh yeah, I could definitely upgrade this stuff. Um, um, uh, I just need one of these. Maybe I can upgrade. Uh, okay, I can upgrade my, my horn. Do not change. Uh, bone horn. Monster bone. And then brute bone. Two, three. Such a brute. Oh, I need more money. Uh, I need more money to upgrade my horn. Uh, Go to the bank. <laughs> oh, I can sell that talisman. I don't need all these anti burn. I don't need the health one. Give me $200. And then, boom. Is this all fascinating to you guys? Me upgrading stuff? <laughs> I guess we could talk about something else while I'm dealing with all this stuff. Uh, so, JD, what's on your mind? How you doing? How's it going? What's up? I what's going on? I am good. <laughs> Are you excited about the summer that we're in the middle of? That we've got summer concerts coming up. We've got, yeah. we're going to go hit up some food trucks tomorrow. Do you like, what's your favorite thing you've gotten so far on your food truck? Favorite thing? Oh, God. We got the spiciest tacos in the world. <laughs> I was like, hey, JD, oh, can you go get me some tacos? But try to get something that's not spicy. And she got the spiciest tacos I've ever tasted in my Shut life. Shut up. I'm pretty sure there was something else that was even spicier. Probably. Or maybe they were all spicy. My okay. mouth was on fire after eating those tacos. Yeah, yeah, it was too hot. I like hot, but not too hot. What? Don't get around. This is important. Oh, he's talking about food too. Okay. Oh my god, we're all talking about, talking about food. talking about those tacos. Mmm, tacos. Well, we got the uh, we got oh, some like, like donuts, steak frites. That was from a food truck. That was a strange food truck. They had a really weird menu. But it was like yeah. a steak on top of mixed vegetables. That was good. That was pretty good. The menu's short though. It's he not... just made a joke. That was kind of like, he's like, you don't have donuts, so how come you don't go nuts? <laughs> if, my, if, if, if a cat was guaranteed to tell jokes every day, I would totally get a cat. <laughs> yeah, cats are so funny. I just did it again. I'm not sure what you mean. No, no, don't you get <laughs> Yeah. Have you ever had to repeat a joke to someone and you're like, okay, forget it. No, I would totally I'm backtracking like, out of this joke immediately. Oh, there's he's like stop waiting. Sorry, I don't really get it. <laughs> so embarrassing. She's like, mm, mm, mm. It's like stop Do you like my leather outfit? Yeah, I like it. I like how she has one leg and then one hat short. So Same. she's got a pant and a hat short. Monster riding is all we've ever known. We only started exploring the outside world fairly recently. This music is also interesting. Yeah, it's kind of different, very whimsical. Sounds like yeah. you're all in the same boat. My buddy here never left Tokolo Island until now. My arm is going through my sword or whatever that is. <laughs> <laughs> the, the hilt of it. That can really take a lot out of you. You should get some rest. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool to cosplay with that outfit. Oh. We're gonna start working on it now, and then when there's a super con in Colorado, you can wear it. Right. Hey. It's very steampunk. It is. Oh, it's my sword. Oh, because I have that sword and shield equipped. I even upgrade that thing? That's I probably really shouldn't cool. use that because it's like level one. Probably should just use the iron sword until I upgrade it. Um, iron bow, that's fine. The bone horn. Oh. So this guy is nice. We're not gonna beat him up. Yeah, leave him alone. <laughs> uh, okay. So, I guess we gotta talk to Elder Maolo. Who's this? Why did this guy have a yellow thing above his thing? Can I talk to him? Mickey? Oh, the rancher. Do I have any eggs? Oh. Oh. Let's see what it is. Wyvern bird. It's a bird thing, right? Where did I catch this egg? Oh, this was the rare den I went in where I was like, I don't have time to go ahead. Oh, it's oh, a yellow. Oh, I know some kind of bird, like dinosaur or something. Nice. Uh, okay, so another Yinkuku. What should I call him? Um, I'm gonna call him. Uh, oh, I think my keyboard died, so guess what? He's gonna get the same. Oh, there it goes. Is it working? There it goes. Yeah, it's going. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna call him Yoda. 
<laughs> Yoda. Yoda. Okay. <clears throat> um. Go to manage Mansi's or change their names or select Mansi's to release back into the wild. There's a way to register Mansi as a favorite and it'll show up at the top of the list. Blah blah blah. <laughs> Who's my faves? Yada yada yada. Alright, so definitely gotta get Mark Clovis my fave. Um, so you can see they have different stats on the bottom. Yeah. There's little charts. I don't know fully what those mean. Um, gene info. Oh, so he's got like certain power-ups like anti-burn, and he's got certain fire boost power-ups, whereas he's got uh, fireball gene, some lock stuff, head-to-head -head gene, and piercing claw gene. So I guess they have different genes that give so him So he can unlock powers. stuff eventually. Yeah, he's got stuff he can unlock Oh, too. he's got to get to a certain level to unlock those other ones. Yeah. Gotcha. So I guess at level 10, he'll unlock something. Okay. Okay, cool. Okay, I'm starting to understand a little bit. Probably doesn't matter that much for the story mode. I imagine a lot of that stuff matters. Like, I think similar to Pokemon and Temtem, they're gonna start doing like PvP, player versus player competitive battles. Uh -huh. Where I think that, you know, getting your perfect party is gonna be much more important. Gotcha. Alright, let's talk to this old guy and see what he's gotta say. So you have come. A wild Paolumu appeared in the forest a little while back. Some of our riders were injured trying to escape. A Paolumu? But those fluff balls are adorable! How True. Normally, they don't attack people at all. Let me guess. This one isn't normal. <laughs> this is the first time we've had to face such a threat. We'd like you to help investigate. Show us your skills as a rider. So soon. Is that wise? This should be a good experience. And what's more, the child has Red's kinship stone. This is a good chance for them to show if they are capable of taking part in the rite of channeling. I agree with Zealot. If you plan to form a bond with Arathalos, you must hone your skills as a writer. Well, when you put it that way, challenge accepted. We'll show you what we're made of. He like speaks for talk. yeah, right? Because I don't talk. <laughs> they don't have the necessary experience. Hey, whose side are you on? We took down an Anginath, and not just by a whisker. You're just proving my point. That overconfidence could be your undoing. Why, yada, yada. The safety of my ah, is my responsibility. <laughs> I'd prefer it if he's gonna go with us. Relax, Alrin. I see where you are going with this. You may accompany them. Thank you, sir. Every hand helps. Now that it's been decided, make your way to the forest. Sheesh! I still say we could have handled this on our own. No, oh, shut up. We need the help. <laughs> right? Please be careful. Alright, okay. So we're gonna get some help. Cool. We'll live amongst the two lofty trees just a little ways beyond the village. Are you ready to go? Sure. Um, the Wyverians of Rudo will look upon the Rathalos egg that you and Anna brought back with. Suspicion for them is nothing but no. Oh, this is just recapping what happened. Gotcha. Okay. All right, so we are back on our adventure. Um, so since I don't have any money, I guess we'll just go out there and start adventuring and getting some some stuff to make some money. I wonder if I have items I can sell for like a lot of cash. Let's see. Check that bank. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's what we're gonna do before we go out there. Let's let's do some of the mandatory RPG stuff of buying and selling items. Um, sell items. Yeah, nothing worth a lot of money. Oh, gold. Uh, fetch is a high price. Yeah, give me that money. <laughs> um, quality meat, pits and spang. Which I think I gotta get more parts anyway, more so than money. CP fish. Uh, combining. I guess sell these CP fish. I have no onion for right now. 
Sleep. I should sell the weapons I'm not using. Well, whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. Okay. I just wasted time talking to her twice. Uh, I guess these people have quests. That's why there's like exclamation marks on the map. Oh, this is over here. There's a caravan. Lickety split. I can actually go back to the Kamuna village too. If I really, really wanted to. And you have the whole world map here too, so you can see like, oh, the world yeah. looks like. It's so exciting. So cool. much exciting. Uh, okay, so let's just go exploring. Let's start this. Are you guys ready for an adventure? Adventure time? <laughs> what time is it? It's adventure time! Okay, so I want to try to get some more monsties. I don't think I have enough monsties. <laughs> no. Well, these guys you can't catch. I don't know what, no. what else you can catch out here. Mm, probably if you see some dens, let me know. Swipe some more eggs. Swipe some of those eggs. Oh, there's one. Let's steal an egg. Are you guys ready to steal an egg? Let's steal an egg from an angry monster. <laughs> what do you guys say? Someone should do a mod of this where it has like the monsters from that cartoon, I Real Monsters. More 90s references for you guys, and you can catch them. Whoa, right. that's good. what is that? A slug? Whoa, what is he riding? That thing looks cool. Oh, oh. whoa. Was that a badger? <laughs> it did look like a big badger. Uh, oh, here's the eggs. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Let's try to steal some other stuff from around here, too. I'm curious, because I always see stuff here, but I never bother taking it. Probably should, right? Like all these bones and stuff back here. Right. Take whatever you can. I'm afraid it's going to wake up if I take too long. Which probably is true. Actually, there's not too much else around here. Oh my gosh, wake up, wake up. Don't wake up. Oh, what's that thing? Is it a bat? Oh, I got a good one on the first try. Nice. Yeah, let's take it. Sticky, 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 get out of here. He's like uh, walking all over the place with you. <laughs> got this monster he's writing. Right? <clears throat> Making all that noise. Me, yeah. I'm surprised that monster didn't hear another giant monster walking right. in. His... Actually, these monsters are terrible at defending their eggs, right? <laughs> They're really not good at protecting their eggs. They're like typical parents. They get very, very exhausted taking care of their kids, and then they pop, plop themselves in bed and just conk out in the corner. Right, they're like, I'm done. I can't deal anymore. So I guess, did we try catching these guys? You can't catch them, right? Um, I don't think so. Oh, the badger thing? Maybe I could catch that badger thing. Let's see. Items. Let's shoot a paintball item. Uh, I guess it doesn't matter what I should get at this time. Let's see if it works. Oh, it did work. Oh, retreat right up. Jaggy. That is a mission that I have to kill some jaggies. You know, that's what they call jaguars in London. They're like, oh, can you get me my jaggy? <laughs> I believe you used a power attack, right? Were you paying attention to what you used? I was definitely not. Um, no. Yeah, he did use a power yeah. attack. Or maybe that was that real guy. No, I think it was him. Yeah, he used a power attack. Uh... Oh, it's a little jaggy, he's dead. So yeah, uh... So this game is getting kind of interesting. We're getting a little more different monsters we can catch and, uh -huh. and tame. Just kind of interesting? Kind of interesting. I'm gonna switch my weapons because let's see what the horn does. Wow. Let's see if I can smash his leg with the horn. Mm. Oh, that worked. Oh, I think we broke something up then. Uh, skills. Negate poison, negate sleep, cheer. Uh, that's probably not gonna be super useful. Smash his legs up. Oh, thanks for healing. I'm not even paying attention. 
Oh, nice. Oh, he's on the ground. Like a turtle. Is he? Oh, yeah. He does look like a turtle. That, you know that's funny? This sometimes happens to our dog. Where he'll get on his back. <laughs> it's, it's the funniest thing in the world. I mean, I shouldn't laugh at it, but <laughs> it honestly stuff. is the funniest thing in the world. Because he'll get on his back and be like stuck. Oh, we're doing a double attack. Nice. Ooh. And he'll get like stuck and he'll like wiggle around like a turtle trying to get out of his back. Right, right, right. Oh, it's I ice get, attack. I guess it's like the balance is that, that, that monster looks very Game of Thrones-esque, right? <laughs> like a dragon. He does have a pretty cool monster. I like yeah, its I wings. Like its wings are pretty cool. Did he retreat? Uh... Oh, he didn't retreat. He was oh, out. That's too bad. Oh, he got an S though. Oh, but he didn't retreat. Well, let's go back to the village and, and hatch our previous egg that we got, and then we'll uh, we'll probably call it for this episode. We so this guys, this is it. Like you were wondering, oh maybe like what is it? What is this Monster Hunter stories? What does it look like? How does it play? You've seen the first four hours. You've seen what happens. You've seen the adventure. You've seen. The monsties you've seen. I, I think this gives you a pretty good idea of the game. I think there's some stuff that comes in later in the game. Uh, we're also going to definitely probably play some more. Maybe not in a four-hour chunk. We'll probably play shorter chunks later. Um, but we'll probably definitely keep playing this game. So uh, if you're interested, definitely subscribe. Because we'll have some more videos sooner rather than later. And you can... You can uh, like, put some comments in there, let me know what you think of the game, uh, and we'll do that. Let's go hatch our monster. Where's the stables? Am I like, totally lost? Uh, oh, they're over here. They're like on the other side of the village. This village is a little confusing. <laughs> there they are. Over here. Stables. Keep all the way around. I guess they're... I think they're up there. Huh? Up here, right? Oh, here they are. Okay, so let's see what we got in our egg. This was a rare one. Ooh. What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? What's in it? Oh, oh, we got one of those badger things. Az Arzuros. Arzuros. <laughs> it's oh. cute. It looks cute as a kid. Look at his tongue. It it's sticking out. That's what Clovis was doing earlier. Yeah, I guess our <laughs> dog, dog does that park. too. <laughs> yeah, sometimes he has like a dork face where his tongue is sticking out to the side. <laughs> uh, Alright, so yeah. I'm just going to go here and save and we'll call it for this. These are pretty much the first four hours of this game and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye guys. Bye, thank you for watching. You're still here? Well, you might as well subscribe. Okay, you can go now.